Hello everyone. I hope you can hear me because we are live for two hours of SPA 2022 layout and we are going to have three classes today. LMP2s, LMP3s and GT3s. Uh, and today with me there is a special guest, a new commentator, which is gonna help me follow the action, Frank Quintero. Hey, what's up everyone? Hello uh, there. How's everyone doing today? I hope uh, everyone is doing fine. Yeah, keep going, keep going, man. <laughs> this is your first yeah, today, today's, like, today's looking like a great race, uh, though I don't know much about AF2. Um, <laughs> lo looking to be pretty exciting from the looks of free practice. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna uh, follow the action soon. So the great uh, the, the big the biggest news of the race is that Jack Oliver gonna have the split um, stint. So uh, we don't have driver swaps in the race, but uh, Jack gonna race with his dad and do the real life uh, driver swap. So basically, they just gonna uh, switch the the spot on the chair and uh, and drive the the mid race. I think Anto gonna do the first half and then Jack gonna hop in. Uh, it's because Anto cannot do uh, the whole race uh, and he didn't knew about the race uh, on time, so he's just gonna do the half and then Jack gonna do the other half. So uh, Jack's pace might improve, I think, even uh, by by an even bigger margin, I think. So, um, is it well, that's gonna be interesting seeing uh, an actual driver swap in the endurance league? Yeah, actual uh, driver swap is uh, is something we used uh, to have um, the virtual one before, but uh, the more people we get, the better. So we're gonna start the qualifying soon. Um, we have I have the new stream layout. I just uh, moved some things from spot to spot so it should be more uh, readable I think uh, there is also a new track map uh, overlay which should be interesting uh, there is track description so I just gonna remember all the uh, spa corners uh, how many folks are watching 12 people there that's good that's that's quite good uh, so um, I think, yeah, we are still having the overtime, so we are still waiting for everyone to just join the server. So I'm just gonna follow the track. So the biggest change is, uh, some runoff changes. There is this slight uh, curb, red curb, a sausage curb on the uh, Orouge Radion section. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty interesting, uh, trying to see people avoid the, that sausage curb going up Orouge. I, don't uh, I wonder who's gonna... I don't think that's uh, that painful uh, for the car, but still it's uh, a, a bit of a slowdown. Yeah, keep going, sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I wonder if there's going to be anybody uh, during the race who is just going to hit that curb and just completely bin it. I wonder. Uh, but uh, hopefully all the drivers get through there safe and uh, have a good race, you know? Yeah, that, that would be quite awesome. Also, there is a sand runoff here. And uh, let me see. Yeah, and there's there's quite a lot of sand runoffs uh, in every section of the track. So uh, there's more more sand, so you can just stack there uh, quite easily. Also, thank you, Joe So UK for following. That's good. That's good to see you there. LFG wooden shoulder, let's go, yes, uh, wooden shoulder, yeah. where he is, yeah, he is in LMP3 class, in a Nismo Ligier livery, we're gonna follow but where's him. Waldo livery right there, yeah, where's where Waldo? Waldo, Waldo is here, <laughs> on the front, so, uh, we're gonna find, uh, let's say, where is wooden shoulder, we're gonna find him here, and, uh, who's there, um, Orite, uh, Pingu Queen, G750, quite a lot of nice liveries today. Uh, there is also the, the one livery I've made, so the Maka Silver, so it's plenty of nice cars there. There's River Racing, S Sigma. Sigma Team Racing, yeah, Sigma Energy. 
Borderland right team. Yeah, it's Mati. Mati is gonna uh, be driving LMP3s. We have few LMP2s and some of them are not that fast. Uh, so, or didn't manage to do a clean lap. So, let's see how it's gonna end up in the actual qualifying. I like this Force India like livery. To be honest. Oh yeah, it, lo it looks pretty good, especially with the uh, Amazon and uh, AMD sponsorship that it's got going on here. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, qualifying would be uh, pretty good. You know, um, hopefully it'll be just as good as uh, qualifying in F1 that just happened recently. Um, but yeah, uh, qualifying should get be getting started right about now. Yes, it is. Uh, so we have three classes uh, every. Uh, qualifying lap is three minutes long uh, 15 minutes long so we have three uh, qualifying so 45 minutes of qualifying so it's quite long but we're gonna follow let's see our LMP drivers leaving this pit lane okay the camera is just broken so I just gonna do it the better way okay, oh, we're taking, it's, we're it's taking a, a look everyone's wonky. lining up in the pits it's a bit lining wonky. up in the pits. Hopefully, uh, things will go off. Pretty, things will be going pretty good so far. Yes. Uh, we let's... got Jack at the front of the queue. Uh, and then we I got... think it's Anto actually, his father uh, in the first stint. Maybe it is Jack for qualifying, but I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. But uh, Jack will be driving from the half of the of the race. Uh, this is what I know. There is Gold's AJ behind him. Uh, Mag uh, Max and Quell. Uh, quite n new names, to be honest. Alboita, I know that he's a Discord user for a while, I think from 2020, but still, it's a while. Uh, let's see, uh, it's only LMP2 uh, session for now, then we're gonna have lmp 3 so we're just gonna follow them. People are just uh, warming those tires uh, as much as possible. Uh, the track conditions are 20 degrees and then 25 Celsius degrees of the track, which is quite good. Uh, the wind is 5 kilometers per hour, so it's not that impacting the, the race pace, I think. It's not that huge of a wind. It's a quite a quite nice uh, team bumper car livery. I think we have two of those. I don't know if both drivers are on the grid, but uh, I've seen two liveries of those yeah exactly gold's aj and maxen uh, maxine quell they are both running those liveries They're pretty nice right here oh i um, think three cars they are running but i don't know if yeah this is the whole team this is the whole team they uh, okay, as you can so see, i guess uh te team coordinated qualifying we got going on here maybe yeah and thank you for uh thank you to a gift for you for subscribing with twitch prime uh, who's there? Oh, it's Arda! Hello, Arda! It's... Arda is not uh, racing in the moment, but he is in the session, I think. Uh, he was in the session before. I don't see him there. That's interesting. So we are going to have uh, our first lap, so let's go maybe with... Uh, is there any good camera? There's... Okay. This is probably the closest we can get. Maybe the cockpit camera. So this is the first fast lap we're gonna see from Jack Oliver or Anto actually, I think. Uh, radio, an orange section, quite uh, fast, full flat out. And we are on the Camel straight. Uh, you just go straight ahead until you just gonna reach the right hander which is Lecombe. Lecombe with the new runoffs on the right sun, uh, side which is the sand runoff. Touching the sand a bit and slowing the momentum down I think. We are the Brussel. Brussel is also having the sand runoff on the left side which is a new change there. And uh, didn't, didn't they uh, like uh, make some changes to cor this corner over here? Uh, right, they the added corner? on the left of the corner, they just added uh, the like alternative corner for the moto uh, layout. But the, for the cars, not really, I think. Uh, double gauche, uh, then fun, also with the sand, layer, uh, sand runoffs there, uh, which is new. And here also at the 
campus corner. Uh, if you go too wide, you can lose so much time. Like in the previous uh, layout, you could just go on the asphalt a bit. And there we are on the Blanchimont. Headed toward the bus stop chicane. It's looking looking pretty good so far from uh, Jack or Antoine. I don't know who's in the driver's seat currently, but it's looking pretty good. Purple Sector 2 from the looks of it. Yeah, we are the chicane. Just see the exit. Exit looks fine. Let's see the time. 158. I think you can go faster than that. Yeah, the, I mean, the, we just getting qualifying started, so I'm, su I'm assuming we're going to see some faster lap times. Also, thanks to uh, LipCS for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Yeah, Lipsy, hello there, man. It's good to see you racing again. Lipsy's going to race in GT3s with BMW Z4. Uh, it's been a while. He, I think his last race, uh, uh, league race, was AF3 Nordschleife, which was like... I think even half of a year ago, which is uh, which is a while, and now I think maybe he's he's done like single AF2 race from that time, so it's good to see him back again. Uh, Jerry Kiss on the Lacombe section, fighting with the car. It's gonna try to wait a second. I'm just gonna go for a better shot. What I will try to do... Oops, I just moved to the wrong... Standings. If we go for a better shot, the drone camera, which I'm able to uh, control, you will see how much this car is planted to the ground in this section here. But you need hey, to be careful and don't touch the sound. Yeah, uh, yeah? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, I was just about to say, it looks like uh, Jack just pulled a purple sector 2. Looking good for Jack so far. Uh, we have yet to see we got, We're going to see a lot of purple sectors, I think, <laughs> still. Uh, we have nine minutes to go, so... Uh, while we don't have uh, the track evolution, I think, there is still driver's evolution, I would call it. Uh, so Garrick is uh, 1.2 second of improvement for his second sector. Let's see uh, where it's going to put him P3 right now. We have a couple of drivers which didn't manage to do any laps at all, which is Teles and uh, Prodizzi which is LH44 here. Uh, thank you, Ben Hayes, for subscribing. Good to hear. Good to see you, Ben. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, not been racing for eight months. Ready? To yeah, eight months, Lipsy. That's that's a lot of time. Yeah, it was it was like December or like November, right? It's quite a lot of time. But I remember you were on fire on Nords, so hopefully you will, you will be on fire here too. Uh, it looks like we got a redeem here. Uh, Lipsy has redeemed timeout for someone for five minutes. How does that one work? Uh, I think, yeah, we should... Who, who's, who's gonna... Who is he muting? Where, where is, where is it? <laughs> timeout someone, but who... Wa he wants to timeout. He didn't specific <laughs> specify who, who he wants to timeout. Uh, we got a hype train going, let's go. Uh, G... Jerry Kiss. Jerry Kiss just teleported to the pit lane. He didn't do an improvement. Gold's AJ improved slightly by less than a tenth in the first sector, but then he lost 1.2 seconds in the second one, so there won't be any improvement at all. The Spa is quite long and quite demanding track, so you need to be confident and self-confident and just uh, be sure of your own skills because if you push too hard and you do one single mistake then it can cost you the whole two minutes long lap so you need to be very very careful what you do but like you also at the same time uh, as a paradox you need 
to not be careful, you need to be pushing as much as you can. So we need to find the perfect balance. I, I, I mean... Which is what makes this track a, such a perfect endurance track. Yeah, it, it can be like used for every track, this uh, philosophy I just said. But like for Spa, actually for Spa, this is like, you know... Uh, it's a long track, it's demanding, it has all, oh, like, slower corners, uh, faster corners, more technical corners, like, uh, I wouldn't say Orouge and Radion is pretty technical in the modern cars, it's just, like, full flat out, but still, you just need to know what you're doing, and small mistakes can just destroy your whole race, right? Oh, we have a hype also, train! Also, yeah, also, um, uh, thank you for Diego for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank, thank you so much, man. Yeah, hello, Vessel! How are you doing, Vessel? Hello, Vivolves! And we have a hype train going on, so, boys, just keep it going. We have two minutes... Run it up, boys! Run it up! 50 seconds, go. yeah, just just be a, a train machinist and just keep the machine going. We are waiting for our turn. Uh, yeah, I know. It seems like Tellus deci decided to finally get out of the pits. Uh, yeah, the flying Brazilian. The flying Brazilian, the quite famous fly flying Brazilian. And he's now uh, known as a flying Brazilian, not by his flying pace, but be because he was literally flying at the Bikerniki with a Praga car. He just got launched on the hill and it was flying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, I, I low-key want to see that moment now. Uh, sorry if I'm not really familiar with everyone's names. I'm a bit newer to the Assetto Friends server, especially newer to a, uh, AF2. So just bear with me if I don't know everyone's names. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I'll be that. I'll be so. like letting you notify. Uh, like I will notify you and let you be informed uh, as we progress through the session. It's a long session. It will be um, 34 minutes. For the qualifying to go and then we're gonna have two hours of the race so we're gonna spend some time here so yeah, i plenty of racing action coming your way ladies and gentlemen yeah and, a lot and of it looks talking. like jack is on his flyer right now he's got two yeah, purple he sectors is. currently he is on a flyer let's see if he does the chicane perfectly right he goes through it okay let me actually Change one more thing decent exit decent exit and here we go toward the line let's see what kind of time he gets Looks like a uh, 1 minute 58.5 for his time. Pretty good so far. It is indeed. Let's see. Uh, so we are currently stuck at 58. Uh, and if I believe Chuck or Anto are doing those times, then probably it is quite the limit. Uh, some of the drivers can improve like by one second or two seconds uh, per lap, but if it's Jack driving actually, then the Jack is like very consistent and it maybe differs by a few tenths, but never more than a half of a second or something, which is interesting. But for the quality mode, let's see the times. So as you can see, it is a second between Jack Olivier and uh, Gold's Adri. It is quite a lot of time to be found. So Jack Olivier or Anto, uh, because I, I am not sure who is driving right now. Oh, and he messed up uh, the double oh, gauge section. Oh, that goes right section. into the gravel, yeah. man. And he teleports back to the pits. Yeah. Which cost him his time. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is what, like, this is what you do. If you just uh, mess your lap, you just try to teleport to the pit and go immediately as fast as you can because you are just wasting time if you will continue messed up lap and it's not like you need to have any lap any clean lap or any lap finished he is just fighting for the win right so he's gonna do it as fast as possible so let's see at the sectors uh yeah a few more minutes to call so qualifying ends for the LMP2s. Uh, it's LMP3s next for qualifying, correct? Uh, I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go down the order. So LMP2s, freeze, and then GT3s. Uh, Thank you, Ben Kiss... Hayes, for the bits. Tellez is uh, the flying Brazilian god right here. Uh, Tellez is god, yeah. Tellez no, is god, yeah. Uh, we have two minutes to go. Jerry Kiss is on the fast lap, 8,000. Uh, uh, thousands of improvement, but six seconds lost in the second sector, so not quite a 
improvement at all but he will still be able to start a new lap which is good Maxine Queldo improving in the first sector Teles is not improving uh, at all on his lap Jarek is not let's see how it's gonna be for other drivers Nash, Alboita and Maxine and looks, and loses 1.6 one one seconds in sector 2 yeah, uh, it seems like uh, some of these guys. I'm ho I'm hoping they can, uh, you know, uh, get some faster times on the board. There's still plenty of time to be found. Looking at uh, Jack's lap. Yeah, but uh, you d you don't mess with Jack. Like Jack is, um, he's beyond. He's kind of like Verstappen was, for example, at the Canadian uh, qualifying. Like if if someone is just like uh, doing a lap, he will go one second faster than you. You, he's ba he's basically, I've, I've said this before uh, while talking to him in AF1 before, uh, I've, I basically called them the set of friends version of Alan Prost. Which yeah. Is, which fits him pretty well because he's like very, very, very fast. And he's French. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very fast French over here. He's sometimes like Senna because, <laughs> because sometimes he is just aiming for that uh, gap. And, uh, you know, like if, if there is a driver who is not really respecting the exact limit between you and uh, him, uh, you, you are likely to crash. But he's just fair, uh, tough racer, though. So it's uh, it's good to see people like this. Maxine Quell on the improvement, but as you can see, those improvements are quite like little. Like you you don't improve as much as you can, and the LMP threes are out. I think yeah. So we yeah. There having... you go. Here's the LMP threes. Some of them so, are out. So we are having the last LMP two on the lap. No, he is teleporting to the pits. So yeah, we are going to follow back LMP to the pits. Okay, now we're looking at the LMP3. Josh Brooks, the man, the myth, the legend himself. So oh, far, go, know, everyone's yeah. going is out the, for is his the river back? Is the river back? I don't know if the river is back, but we'll see. Uh, Josh Brooks behind him is Matty Leibach, so he's uh, ex-teammate. Uh, and there is Master oh, Ma just Master. cutting Master goes off Lecom. track. Yeah. With the Ma plain white livery, I don't know if his livery is broken or he just purposely made it. Uh, pure uh, white, but I think, it think, it's looking good it's so a far. Default. I think it's a default livery. As you can see, there's like LMP3 written there, but it's like default livery. Uh, there okay, is okay. also Orite, uh, the Spanish driver. Uh, there is... Is it the Spanish Republican flag? I think so. Uh, shiny waffles there. What Magnum livery? The Magnum... Dog? No, kidding. Uh, but yeah, everyone's on their outlaps. Everyone's looking good in their liveries. Uh, yeah, it's looking, it's looking to be pretty exciting for um, LMP3 so far. Yeah, there's also Charbatron, which won't do qualifying because uh, Charbatron likes to do uh, last to first challenge. No, he's gonna do one lap, I think. Okay, uh, oh so no, he's no, no, he's not. Yes, he he's, he's not. He's lane. just spinning in the pit lane. Uh, he spins in the pit lane. He always does that. He always does that. Uh, that's classic Shal. It's good to see you, Shal, being in the shape yeah it's a show off uh it's good yeah, to see you for sure show off <laughs> it's good to see you there hey. 27 spectators that's good that's good here uh quite quite nice audience uh sorry for the everyone ping though but it's it's a big thing it's a bit a big thing here uh so josh brooks will be the first driver to start the lap and here we go looking it's looking pretty good for josh so far he gets through the, the hairpin quite nicely on his uh, run up to Eau Rouge and Radion. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of his lap so far, even uh, though it's quite early? You know what? I would need to, and I will, let me see, uh, check the results from practice session. So it is uh, more comparable this way. So Josh Brooks, let me see. He was, I think, the fastest car there, and he did a lap time being 2 minutes, 8 seconds, 9 tenths. So, uh, we are aiming, aiming at those times, and the times of LMP3s are actually 8 
8 to 10 seconds slower than like top times uh, of LMP2s and uh, as you can see uh, Josh will be probably only 4 seconds slower than the slowest LMP2 which is Teles which uh, may show us an opportunity for some LMP3s fighting with LMP2s because they are not as much off pace as you can think like if you will have some mistakes troubles as Josh is doing right now going a bit on the sand round of messing up his lap time this is not looking quite good for the British driver but uh, I don't yeah. think it was a cut so I think it should be still a valid lap we'll see there is shiny, shiny waffles, waffles behind here. him yeah. yeah the Indian driver He's, go he's going over, he's going through here. Um, so, so Shiny... Uh, no, 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 sorry, uh, Mati Labiak did uh, 2 minutes 0 second, uh, 0, uh, 8 seconds. And then Josh Brooks was uh, 2 minutes 10 seconds. So he, he was 2 seconds... Uh, actually, no, uh, 1.9 okay, seconds. Okay, we're getting slower. the first laps over. And Master actually goes faster than Josh Brooks by 3 tenths. And I think and it's still one second slower. No, uh, three times slower than what we've seen in the practice. That's good. It's looking good. Looking good so far. What, what do you think about, uh, for example, wooden shoulder? Is he going to improve, or you think uh, uh, it's it's his pace, or he just made a mistake? What do you think? Because I think uh, he's, I think, he's I think, faster uh, overall than that. Yeah, I think I think he's just making some mistakes early on. Uh, but uh, for a lot of these drivers, including Wooden Shoulder, I think uh, they would be able to extract more pace out of these cars and the track. It's just you know, it's just the beginning of qualifying. We have yet to see some of the fastest times that we're going to see in this session. So beginning. we just got to wait and see. Yeah, Ellipsis said, "Oh, mistakes were made." Yes, uh, I think it was about Josh. Uh, wooden shoulder improving by four seconds. Yeah, so it's explaining. Uh, it is explaining much. Master is just going by two seconds faster. So uh, I think we're gonna reach the point where the barrier of two minutes eight seconds is gonna be broken. I think. Uh, I wonder if they will manage to get close to tell us, uh, like to two minutes six seconds or something. Uh, Talos seems to be very inconsistent with his laps. Um, four seconds. Ah, because it's 133. Okay, it's showing... What? I'm, I'm just really confused right now. So we're gonna wait until the end of the lap. Uh, but but the thing is... Uh, the thing in, the, in those cars is that they are not necessarily slower than LMP2s. I remember when I just did some testing with the overlay etc the ai of lmp3s and lmp2s they were quite close for a while yeah it's uh, just that the times were not very uh representative but yeah yeah two, let's see we got josh minutes, brooks seconds. master and maddie breaking the sub what two minute nine second uh barrier, barrier right yeah. here. they're into the yeah. two minute eights so far and it's uh, uh, I think we're gonna see I think we're gonna see uh, during the race a pretty good battle between uh, Josh Brooks and master the Polish and the British uh, drivers respectively um, uh, and uh, yeah. actually British Polish and uh, po Polish British driver because Matt is uh, Pol uh, uh, Polish uh, British uh, driver <laughs> Okay, so we got LMP3 dominated by the Polish and the British. Right <laughs> yeah, here. actually, yes. Uh, but we have Vivols, the Dutch driver here. Uh, pretty solid. Vivols is speedy recently. He, he got some speed. Like, he had a very messy season 8 in AF3. Season 9, I think he got better. And uh, he, he's brilliant recently. He's just getting slowly, slowly better. And they go... They are, going very slowly in that angle we don't want to use that camera angle uh, you can see how small that this, this car is compared to the driver uh, which is I think quite realistic uh, I remember I know at least Pragas are that, that small that if you just small if you just go er alongside the GT3s they're just enormous they're just huge 
compared to the Pragas. Uh, Shao Patron disconnected from the server, but I think Shao will be back. There is also Miguel Soto there. Uh, it's good to see Miguel racing again. The LMP enjoyer. And he will be driving Oreca 07 from 2016. So we are with some folks improving. Let's see Matty later. Matty looks like he's on a pretty good lap right here. Two personal sectors and he's a spun. He spun and teleported right back to the pits. Damn. Yeah. Well, this, they... this is what you do. If you just spin, you just want to be as quickly in the pits as possible. Unless you are leading the race on the last lap, uh, which is the thing that happened. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we, we'll get into that story later. Um, Oh no! I think I, I think I might have uh, I think I might have uh, gained uh, the commentator's see? curse here. <laughs> nah, the commentator. If you think you have the commentator curse, you don't know about my commentator curse, because I am the most powerful cursor uh, on the server. I'm just like cursing everyone. I'm just a wizard. I yeah, just... correct me if I'm wrong. You you've actually cursed me one time. Yeah, I cursed the you. Bugello. I know, I know yeah. that you, you, you wanted to ha uh, like to sound I cursed you. I cursed you and I think around 10 drivers in that race, so... Uh, yeah, pretty much. But hey, it is what it is. It's just uh, commentators curse. It happens to everyone. Uh, yeah. It happens to everyone but, who's a commentator, I but guess. But I have much more powerful curse. Like, uh, there was AF1 Turkey race. Uh, I mean, like, uh, Turkish GP. And they were at the Istanbul Park. And the thing is... That there was, I think, Matias Suriano, Shah Betron, Nemanja Popovic, and Jack Oliver. They were like fighting in the top positions. Jack was leading. And they were fighting for, and I think there was also Alberto White. And they were fighting for the win. I was like, damn. Uh, they are very close. If you just do one mistake, you just, you're just gonna lose the position. And then when I just finished that, you see Matias Suriano being on P3, just spinning. And that was that was like very powerful curse. Oh, Josh Brooks man. is leading. Josh Brooks currently is leading. Sorry, I'm just like switching to yeah, the topic. Is. And yeah. Master is just following him. Vivos just uh, managed to be P3 currently, and there was Matty yeah, Layback behind hard him. Getting ahead, getting ahead of uh, Matty right here. So things are things are heating up and qualifying so far. Uh, how much time do we have left until the GT3 quality? Uh, wait a second. Uh, three minutes. Four minutes. Uh, four minutes. Four minutes. Four yeah, minutes. Yeah. Four minutes till uh, GT3 quality. Uh, but yeah, things are things are looking pretty good so far for the LMP3s. Um, uh, I like I'd like to assume that uh, Josh Brooks is taking the pole for this one, but who knows? Maybe Master will pull something out uh, out of out of nowhere. You know. Uh, um, hopefully, some of these guys can keep their pace for tomorrow's AF1 race, but. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually actually inter interesting. Um, yeah, we're gonna have AF1 tomorrow. It might it might be streamed. I don't know, but uh, I don't know if I will be able to stream uh, that. But we'll see. Um, we'll see. Oh, what, hopefully, what the status yeah, of race uh, control too. Go, go well. Hopefully, things will go well in AF1, especially for me tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, I'll get yeah, the Yeah, because you are racing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but. Um, but yeah, um, th things are looking good. We got uh, Vivols uh, look finishing the lap, at, uh, completing his lap. Shiny uh, waffles see. on the grass the at the Lecomp. comp. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vessel V Shard. Uh, I need I need to like get used to. He was like named Vessel Verhouden because he was using his like fake name uh, because he wasn't sure if he wants to run on his current name, normal last name, and now he is. Uh, but I think it's Vishak. Uh, I will try to pronounce it correctly. His Dutch, Dutch pronunciation is not that obvious, uh, as you can think. Then, then probably Jens will be somewhere here and just being, ah, ha ha, he cannot pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. Uh, vessel with a classic Rimowa colors. Uh, we've seen in like this is slightly darker shade, but. Those colors are with us since AF3 Season 5, where was his debut, and it's quite wow, so it must nice. must be there for a while, huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's a 
Yeah, he, he started racing in AF4, it was uh, June 2021, so f he's here for one year. It's around the same time I'm joined here, I joined in May. Or maybe he was in May uh, already. Actually in April, I think, but like in May I think I've done like a couple of races, like for, for my first races there. Uh, Josh Brooks on a flyer right here. Goes to the chicane. I, think I, he I might don't know if it, that there. time is representative, though. I think it's like just compared to the previous time, so we just need to uh, f uh, follow the. Uh, and I think he is. just improved to uh, two minute eight point two. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. So uh, this is an improvement by six, I think, uh, tenths uh, compared to the practice times, which is quite good. Which is quite nice. I like it. Oh, looking nice, but then Master out qualifies him. Right by, now, uh, by 10. Uh, and we still have one minute to go, I think. So, uh, I think I don't think Master will, or maybe Master is going for another one. Yeah, Master is going for another lap. Yeah, we uh, have four drivers. It, Master, my, Master has provisional pole currently for LMP3. Um, he's on another flyer, as you said, uh, and hopefully, hopefully he improves even further to the two minute sevens. Hopefully. Yeah, we we will see how it's not gonna affect the race. But so far it looks good. Like, uh, the qualifying is not probably the most entertaining thing. Oh, master just uh, beat it. off track. Oh, just as I say. It is entertaining though. The two minute sevens. It is entertaining <laughs> though. I was about to say it's not as entertaining as AF1 qualifying uh, because it's a uh, quite longer format, but. Uh, it is what it is. This is the uh, multi-class racing. Uh, okay, we're have... starting to see some Josh of the GT3 also guys. Went off the track, and yes, Josh we are off the track, and it's it's over for qualifying for the LMP3 yes, guys. Yes, it now is. We're looking at the GT3. So GT3 we have a couple, of, a couple of different cars. We have Mercedes car. Uh, we have uh, BMW, BMW, Porsche, McLaren. Porsche. One McLaren here, and a couple bunch of, of Lambos. Lamborghinis. Yeah. A and, bunch of Lambos around and, and the, and the and che che Chevrolet is, uh, the, the Corvette uh, is... That you're riding in currently. Yeah, yes. it is the safety car. So, uh, it is not the car ra racing here. But we have a couple of Lambos. We have Diego Domingo with uh, Maca Silver livery. Diego is back here again. Now Diego says something, now Diego says something about nobody practiced for AF1. That's a lie right there. <laughs> Because I, I know for sure I practice this. You practice, anyways, but like... It, okay, I, I'm gonna do some anecdotes. Uh, before the race, there was Jake Fimster, like uh, 15 minutes before the AF2 race right now. And he was like, I am on my first fast lap here. And I'm like, oh yeah, the, the famous uh, quali is practice. Um, thing. And Diego Domingo is quite... Uh, aggressive uh, right here just touching the sand a bit but we'll go with Bjarne the Prime the leading car here amazing uh, racing point in and inspired livery uh, I think from 2019 uh, yeah, sports yeah, right. yeah 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 uh, yeah right. also but different quick sponsors. question yep. quick question about uh, what was it? G750 with the blue camo uh, I've noticed that he does not have a spoiler. How, how does that work? Does he, does he still get arrow or is, uh, is it just like a cosmetic thing? Or uh, It is a cosmetic thing. It is, uh, I think, uh, if you just compare it, ellipses, for example, as you can see, and G, uh, it is a CSP add on. You just can uh, hide uh, some parts of the car if you want to. Uh, to make them like look visually interesting, but the, the arrow of the car works exactly the same as if you had the wing. This is just the visual aspect of it, but it's good that you noticed. Also, there is um, famous. There are famous emojis on the car there. <laughs> yes, the, the so, interesting emojis by the G so G750. flashed and hollow. Uh, a cold. Hello, three number man right here. Uh, yeah, Lips, it is. Yes, going going through for his lap here. Unknown track in South America equals no practice. Yes, Diego, it is. If you see some Brazilian uh, track you cannot pronounce, no practice. But if you will see Montreblon, Diego, you will be practicing a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I know for sure. I did. I did some practice uh, on. Uh, 
on I, the I wonder safe track. if Diggle can hear us, or he's just and he's just he's driving. He's focused on the driving. He's probably just focused on driving. I, I, you do, you don't underestimate the power of the drivers. Uh, rubber nine when, while he was racing uh, because he he took a break from sim racing. I, I don't know if he'll be back, but he took a break. Uh, he used to be listening to a stream while racing. Uh, not you just driving, just racing, like going side by side with some car and just like texting back at the same time, which was like wow, uh, uh, crazy. But uh, he, 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 I think, would like to show off. As uh, as you could see on the left side of the track, that was like the the shortcut because it was meant for the uh, motorcycles. Uh, yeah, motor I GP. think. So it's like uh, also remember kids, remember kids, don't text and drive. Uh, don't be like. <laughs> yeah. uh, the person uh, Mosquito was talking about. But anyways, uh, we're looking at Diego Domingo. Oh, Jake Feimster going wide around there. Yeah, there's quite some traffic in GT3s because I think uh, we have most of the cars there. I like how like the numbers of the cars is almost equal. Like uh, one, two, three, six, seven, eight LMP2s. Then we have uh, 8 LMP3s, eight LMP3s and then, uh, plus I think there is also 10, ten GT3s. Uh, no, 10 LMP3s because you, you see two, two cars oh, yeah, which didn't go there. And yeah, then. and 10 uh, GT3s. So we, it, it, it is quite good. It is quite nice. Uh, I don't know why, but for the Filmster, I don't have any sounds at all in this Porsche, which is weird. Uh, Maybe but his is... game is bugged out, who knows, but let's see, we got Pingu Quinn over in the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 uh, making his way towards the bus stop chicane. Does he get a good exit out of it? We'll we'll find out in just a second. Oh, G750 is in the pit lane, he went off the track, I think. Arda is here, also known as Daniel Ricciardo, also known as AFO owner uh, here. Uh, he is racing again. It's good to see Arda here in Lambo. I think he likes Lambo. He did a race in Lambo in AF 2000 in December last year. And he is back here again at Eau Rouge, quite aggressively taking the curb there with a sausage curb also on the inside. And he is on the camel straight, having all the momentum. Momentum. Diego Domingo, in the meantime, is P1 in the class. Then there is a Pingo Queen being second on the grid. And Lipsis. Uh, let with me the see minute, the times. Yeah. So, uh, the top times, uh, like P1 and P3, are separated by two thousands. Uh, two times, sorry. Two times, uh, which is uh, quite nice uh, to see. There, then there is uh, Bjarne Prime, three times behind. And as you can see, Lambo seems to be pretty fast cars there, but uh, BMW and uh, Mercedes are not slower as you can think and there is Bonnevay in Porsche. Up of 2 minute 18 zero. that's crazy. Uh, also Diego it is Domingo confirmed is that uh, the Antoine truck. would uh, it's confirmed that Antoine would uh, be taking the first stint for Jack. Okay Anto, Anto yeah. the first uh, Anto the first uh, uh, stint then uh, second stint Jack it is all in the cooperation with the admins he asked us uh, if he can do that and we allowed him to do it uh, but uh, if you would like to do it as they did uh, in any of the races, you need just to have a permission from us, so it will, would be fair. Uh, but I think it's only making a disadvantage uh, for Jack because uh, Jack is like beyond the, the limit, and Anto, Anto is uh, is a fast driver, but he is uh, uh, like you know. He, he makes mistake. he's not on the alien level, but he's still pretty, pretty good driver. I think he had qualified Jack once. I think it was uh, Buenos Aires. I might be and mistaken. Lipsy has, Lipsy has Al qualifies Bonnevain right here uh, by five tenths. That provisional pole right now, but we still have seven minutes, 20 seconds to go. He is placing the car on the pit exit, exiting the pit lane. And Jake Fimster, the last car here, absolute silence for this man. Um, obviously, irony, uh, it is irony because there is no sounds of the car for some reason. So it's 
<laughs> also, it's just a quick. It is fake... Formula E. It is Formula E. He's just running yeah, the it electric is. engine. It is. It is yeah. Formula E. Uh, yeah. Um, and also, um, let's see. Honestly, uh, when I first joined in this league, I thought it was for a second there. I thought it was the actual Daniel Ricardo that was the owner. No, this this no, is this is not. this is this is Arda, also known as a gift for you, also known as AF uh, owner. So the owner of this community, he made it, and uh, is. Uh, his name is Arda, so Daniel Ricarda, Ricardo, and I think it, it, it became this way. Uh, he is also the McLaren fanboy, so yeah, obviously. Um, and he is not driving I mean, McLaren, yeah. he is driving uh, Lambo, as McLaren is being driven by Mixtrol with a custom, uh, very good livery. I won't tell that is you a the good exact. 650S right here. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you as you as, know as the a McLaren model. fan myself, uh, it, it is painful times. In Formula One for McLaren, but anyways, I am uh, the Red very good-looking McLaren <laughs> with the uh, all black, and uh, the thing, thing they're looking good for Lipsy as hopefully Bonavane can uh, get back at him. He he did improve by a few tenths going into the two seventeens. But imagine this man had eight months of a break from sim racing, and he's still having this enormous pace. Lipsy is pretty good. Lipsy is like uh, very good with the GT freeze, obviously. Uh, if there was clutch racing, uh, clutch is probably still beyond everyone's reach. Like clutch is as as good in uh, uh, GT threes as Jag is, for example, uh, in open wheelers or prototypes. Mm. I, I was I was lowkey hoping I was lowkey hoping that for AF four the the Miata would have been uh, H pattern, but I'm fine with the sequential. Honestly, uh, I think it's, it's uh, better in the long run too. It's it, better in the long run for beginners. You know, it is. Uh, you know, like uh, MX5. Yeah, we can, we can, we can uh, like uh, move to that segment. We're gonna be back for uh, to AF4 segment at some point because I, I believe uh, we are not going to have. Uh, like there will be a phase of the race where the, when there will be like less action happening so we're just gonna hop in there and just talk uh, casually but the thing is uh, about AF4 uh, shortly speaking uh, that um, it is like easier to have a sequential uh, which is like um, you know it's more available for every person there because uh, you need clutch you need uh, edge pattern shifter to be properly driving that thing if it has edge pattern shifter but if it, yeah, if it yeah, has paddles the, uh, the sequential is pretty pretty good so uh, it is fun it is more um, uh, you know like it is lower level of entrance uh, to the lake, it is a pretty fun car to to be, and also uh, edge pattern Miatas are not produced now. They are producing, uh, uh, I think, uh, sequential ones as a stocks. And we have Lipsis okay. with the fastest uh, Domingo, time, and Don Diego Domingo being b right behind him. Uh, we I, could... I think chat will enjoy this one because from what I'm seeing chat is cheering on uh, Diego Domingo right here Yeah, because it's Jag on chat. So uh, There is also Ben uh, Yeah, the the greatest uh, Domingo enjoyers uh, As you can see Diego's helmet. It's it's a uh, quite nice helmet. I've done some time ago, but it's a uh, a good opportunity to show it. Lipsis has a stock helmet. Let's see if anyone has a helmet. We got some oh, and G750. G750 has a uh, also um, uh, personalized helmet. I made it for him. Um, the Greek helmet. Look, Femester, ma Femester makes it all the way up to P18 with that lap right there. Uh, P18, but actually P4 in the class. Uh, and yeah, it's. Uh, Jake is good. Jake is. Uh, it is like the pace uh, Jake is having. It's uh, like he's pretty consistent. Like he might not have a pace to be at the top, but still in the race, he's still capable of not making as many mistakes as others. And just. I think he's also smart with the strategy because in AF1, uh, I like to mention it every stream. He knows what is like 
doing and even if he had like the horrible crush at t1 and he's at the back somehow he is always up there around um top 10 p7 or something he's just like trying to extend stints wait for the safety cars uh, wait for mistakes of others he's right there just using every opportunity possible um, oh yeah for sure I've, I've seen his skill in af1 he is a pretty quick driver uh, in AF1, I I would say um, the skill level is uh, we don't have drivers. Yeah, uh, because I'm just clicking. Yeah, yeah, here uh, on the LMP freeze. Uh, Diego Domingo managed to get provisional pole position one minute 20 seconds to go so diego domingo is improving right yeah, now Yeah, he improved by three tenths he managed to find some time there uh diego said once uh that he is not sure if he's gonna have the pace in uh delivery i made for him but he knows that delivery uh, the car at least looks good but apparently he has the pace which is good lipsy is right behind him three tenths uh slower and then there's bonivane three tenths slower so if any of those folks wants to uh you know like conquer uh that p1 just uh take it away from diego i think you know we just we just need to find half of a second there which is quite hard be right back for a moment okay so the, that means i'll take over and let's see we got the diego domingo he's still on a lap he's still trying to improve his time uh which is why i'm back so hello <laughs> okay yeah. and diego is uh, spinning on the spin. double just as ghost. I say that. oh my goodness just as i say that I what think did you I'm say? starting to get a commentator curse. Damn. What did you say? Um, I, I said that like he, he look, hopefully he is still improving. Uh, so um, along those lines, but, and then he proceeds to just um, spin as I don't, as I don't think Bonnevain is going um, to take. To uh, yeah. Right take now we're in overtime qualifying. Um, uh, hopefully Bonnevain. Oh yeah, yeah he goes going right to into the, the pit. He does not plan to improve. Okay, so then uh, from the looks of it, that means D Diego Feimster Domingo is in pole. Jake Feimster th bends it, throws it into the wall. I think uh, uh, Pingo Quinn, Pingo Quinn is the only improve. driver who can uh, make a difference. Uh, but yeah, he wasn't that it, speedy uh, compared to the others. So Diego Domingo, I think he is he's on, pole. on yeah. provisional he's on pole, pole at the least. GT3. Yeah. For GT3. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's let's see uh, the sectors of Pingu actually. Uh, Pingu Queen, where he is, um, he did some improvement compared to Diego. Uh, it was slower by one tenth. Uh, the second, ah, no, 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 because uh, th there is only uh, the first sector from Diego because he spent, so we don't see the sectors from the previous lap. Sadly, he is going right there. He moved to P3 in the class. He Ingo did, Quinn did improves trunk. and uh, displaces Bonavain. Yeah, he did front Bonavain uh, back to P4. Diego Domingo on pole, uh, pole position for GT Freeze. Master on pole for LMP Freeze. A shocker qualifying, I think, because uh, uh, we expected, I think, Matty, maybe Josh there, uh, but Master, pretty speedy one. And Jack Oliver, no shocker here, uh, taking pole position in overall classification and uh for lmp2s as well and then yeah, there is gold's aj and jerry kiss in um top three then we will have diego domingo lipsis and pingu queen in top three for gt freeze and i just forgot about lmp freeze which is master josh brooks and matty labiak we're gonna have at least 25 drivers, but we can see two, three actually drivers, uh, which did not manage to do any lap at all. I think we are going to have a start under the safety car, which will be done by Nemanja Popovic, uh, our race control for today, which is good. Uh, how do you enjoy okay. uh, stream, folks? Uh, we have 17 guys here. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, I, I think a couple of drivers, uh, a couple of 
audience members will just disappear because they will be racing uh, but still uh, I think we're gonna have at least 10 people watching uh, I think Nemanja is doing drifts in the pit lane let me see yeah he is also uh, just let me know uh, how, how I'm doing as a secondary commentator uh, you, you do good you do yeah. good uh, you just uh, if you will be just chill uh, it is not a problem. I think AF2 is a perfect playground because you, you spend a lot of time doing that uh, and you have less tense moments and less tense things you need to follow. We can just chat and then the more you use the mic, the more you are uh, chill with using it. Uh, I remember my first race when I did in AF4, it was Ricardo Tormo commentary, I think. Um, with Skoda and I was like thinking way too much about what I say, how I say, how it is entertaining, about the breaks, about the mm, uh, eh, and all the stuff around it. Now I just try to improve but I'm not thinking as much as uh, as I used to. Um, Moment, okay, uh, moment, moment. let's see. Uh, Jack, thank, thank you for the compliment. Ben Hayes, okay. uh, just to let you know, I am Frank Quintero, also known as FQ540. Okay, so it's, um, it's a time for energy drink right now. Yeah, so n nice to meet you, Ben. Yeah, I <laughs> just introduced myself. So, And uh, I guess I, I'm the secondary commentator for uh, AF2 th today. I mean, if, if you will have some time and if you will like... Um, to um, to join more often, uh, I'm pretty open. Oh yeah, for to sure, that, yeah. for sure, for sure. I, I'd love to join more often. Yes, I am G50's uh, Canadian cousin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? G750's Canadian cousin. <laughs> What's the story behind it? Oh no, oh no. We just um, our fam our family uh, separated uh, a long time ago, and we just now found each other, and we figured out we're cousins. So what? Uh, that that's how it works, I guess. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> also, quick comment. Quick comment. Um, I've always I've always wanted to. Um, I've always wanted to uh, try to figure out how to make deliveries, but I just have no clue how. Uh, like, if, if instead of course I had like a livery editor, kind of like a Gran Turismo Sport or something like that, then I'd be making liveries for days. I mean, it's so. uh, it is it is quite easy, but you need to know how to use Photoshop, and we'll be starting the the race soon. Every driver is being teleported on the grid. Nemanja Popovic is there, so he will okay, be. Yeah. This is gonna get started in 45 seconds time. Yeah, but just don't get too much excited, I think, because uh, there will... Oh, Pingo Queen has disconnected from the session. Oh, no, this is not good for the GT3. Uh, we still uh, have anyways, 30 seconds to go. Um, let's hope we don't get any uh, punterinos uh, down the hairpin, because the spot is definitely uh, interesting for that. Also, the, the, uh, don't, don't worry, punt. they will probably not start immediately. They will just wait for Nemanja with the safety car to go over the grid. And then it, it will split the classes, I think. Where is yeah, Pingo Queen? Yeah, it's a rolling start, correct? So. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so. I, it should be. Here we go. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is rolling start. Now they're ju they're just waiting for the safety car to get ahead. Charles, I don't know what Charles is doing. Uh, Charlie's just placing his car at, uh, up on the grid just to join. Oh, yeah, 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 because uh, they're, they're organizing it by class, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's. How about let's follow the safety car and see what they're doing? Uh, yeah, okay, but, there you go. Uh, but uh, you know, just the light timing just disappeared, so I just need to to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. This way. Okay. This, this uh, way works. Okay, uh, now we're off on the formation lap. Uh, the safety car looking looking good with the. I the mean, white it, 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 it should have a livery, but there's a uh, more story to that. Uh, we used uh, yeah. to have we used to have the meme livery, which was used for the meme race, which was uh, a Colombian flag placed on the safety car because by meeting a, a Colombian uh, himself, he just managed to spin. Uh, while being a safety car, so we managed. Uh, it's a, if he managed to do so many mistakes with the safety car, we made a 
uh, meme out of it, and it was having the <laughs> Colombian flag on the on the car, and then we removed that, but apparently it stayed on the server, and it's saying, he, he says the number is 44, which is also a meme because, you know, blessed. So we have... Ah, uh, yeah, it's hashtag blessed. Uh, yeah, um, hashtag blessed, and we have Jack Oliver, Angel Gold, Jerry Case behind him, then we have Master chilling quite nicely with a huge gap uh, yeah, to yeah, Josh Brooks. Like he's going to be pretty, pretty comfortable ahead uh, being a P1 in the LMP3 Diego class. Domingo as well. I don't know what happened to Pingo Queen, but this is unfortunate. He just managed to do qualifying and he is not racing here. That's weird. Where is yeah, Pingo? Probably, probably, some, probably some sort of uh, internet issue. Probably. Maybe or personal issues, you never know. Uh, but it's it's sad not to see Pingu out here. Um, so we are going slowly at the double gosh corner. There is Talis having some issues. Oh, and there's uh, oh, no, Prodizzi also right crashed the there. And this he's bitched. Good. He's bitched. He cannot just move. He can't move, and then also, uh, Lewis Hamilton, man, right there, uh, Pro DZ. Pro DZ, um, yeah. Oh, Pro DZ can, Pro DZ can, he's, man, Pro he's, can. Managing, he's managing to get himself out, out of the wall, but, uh, uh f first drama, first drama for the beginning of the race, we'll go with Jack, uh, actually, Anto, wait a second, oh, now it works perfectly, the drone camera, so we will be able okay. to see, the drone, ca the drone camera, it's like, awesome because you as you can Looking see pretty nice here you can just zoom out as much as you can and you see much more than like regular tv camera so you will see lmp freeze behind and even gt freeze there i think pro dv is trying to is trying to make his way back up the field into a spot it is a uh, long race who knows where tellers went who knows where tellers went I don't know, Jack, how he, he did manage to do that, but... <laughs> this, is, this is what happens. Anto uh, leading the race right now. Uh, there is also Colts, AJ, Jerry Kiss, and Maxine Quell as a hey, top. Here we and go, we'll final chicane, starting... safety car coming into the pits. And we're on the main straight. Race is about to get started soon. We are waiting for a... the green flag, green flag, and now we are starting the green flag. For... And away we go! Here we go! We're racing now at Spa Francorchamps. Jerry is trying AM2. to sneak up down the inside, but uh, Gold's agent is defending. There's one car off. It's Roman Nosh. Roman Nosh is in the grass. In the meantime, Master is heading. Absolutely a terrible start. Josh Brooks going down the inside. Matt Leibach locking up. Oh, almost colliding. There is one car oh. off. I think it is uh, shiny waffles. Uh, in the meantime, Diego Domingo having this uh, also quite, let's say, boring start. Is uh, because there is nothing happening there. Oh, there's some cars just crashing. There is Arda gone. He collided, I think, with Fern coming back. Jerry Kiss is off the track in the meantime. Uh, What's, what's happening uh, here? I'll, Josh I'll Brooks a, in the meantime is fighting with Matty Leibek. Sorry, I'm catching you, but there's very, very intense Matty fight. Matty Leibek is off. on the sand. Yes, he is. Uh, coming back to Alboida, he's fighting side by side with uh, Pro Dizzy, which managed to oh, go up the, the track. Yeah. There, there goes that battle. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Vessel Richard uh, side by side with Martin Leibach. Vessel is still there on the inside. Maddie, wheel to wheel action going in, going, into going to do the, double uh, gosh. This is like very hard corner to do that right. And Vessel is on the runner. Martin Leibach right, holding runner. his position quite well, but Vessel is still having the run for him. Oh, he crashed with wooden oh, shoulder, wooden shoulder off the, the track. Shoulder. Vessel, oh, vessel man. of the track, Roman Nash of the track. Is this a safety car condition? I don't know. Um, I, I don't think it's enough cars for a safety car. Yeah, but it was like five cars, uh, three cars or something at some point. There is Alboita going side by side with uh, 
Jerry Kiss, ja, yeah, it's, it's Jerry Kiss, sorry for my mistake. As you can no, see. I slide into the hairpin, but Jerry Kiss get, stays ahead. La Source is a very tricky corner. La Pro DZ is chasing down Maxine right here. And then over here, we got Lipsias chasing down Diego Domingo. Uh, going into Blanchimont. Yeah, he is. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is this is quite intense because we are already having some LMPs going side by side with GT Freeze. Uh, there is also Vessel Vichard quite away. Uh, let me see. Uh, because the camera is broken, I will go for the inside one, I think. And the Boita chasing Jerry Kiss in the moment. And I, I, is getting awfully close to Lipsias over here in uh, the GT3. Yeah, I will, I will see. Yeah, you are right. They're just going side by side. Lipsis into Eau Rouge Raggi, but he the, had to back off. Bonavane had to back off of there. Because he closed the Eau Rouge entry. And on the Radion, as you can see, he lost a lot of sp speed on the Camel Strait. He is just seeing Lipsis pulling away from him as we are moving to a mixed troll which is using his uh, opportunity seeing Bonnevain slowing down and he is right behind him as we move to Matty Labiak in the meantime Matty Labiak managed to be right behind Charles Bertrand which is uh, and P4 they, he's in got the Alex class right behind him yeah. too Charles is P4 in the class uh, despite the fact that he started as the last one uh, in the right, just goes to show the speed of Charles Bertrand. Yeah, Charles uh, is awesome. <laughs> oh, going almost on the sand. Matt is just looking for every inch, but he has Alexander Tsu behind him, which is also making the racing a bit more tough. Alexander Tsu also started from the back of the uh, the grid and then joined the back of the class during the safety car uh, period, uh, starting safety car uh, procedure, and. Um, as we speak about it, there is a small fight between uh, Prodizi and Maxin Quell. Prodizi is chasing Maxin uh, Maxens Quell. Sorry, but uh, I think Maxens is pulling away three times. And Matty Labeck is off the track in the moment. And Alex, they on collided the together. Oh no, that's a oh, that's oh, a oh, horrible that's region. Horrible what his region. shoulder gets? Horrible region for Matty. It, oh, it will be clear five seconds and he spun on his own, blocking he the spun track. on his own and back into the wall. For Matty, is Diego all. Domingo Here gonna have Domingo. troubles? No, he is not. He slowed down all the a bit just to make sure everything is uh, oh, looks like, safe. Uh, looks like uh, Daniel Ricardo is right behind uh, G750 over here. Is it? Right, yeah, he is actually. I thought like four times. Yeah, maybe it's not that close, but they are actually there. But I will move to Roman Nash, who is just doing the recovery in the meantime through the right grid. behind Alex. Yeah, Alex, uh... the, uh, Alexander Tsu, and they are in the different classes as you can see. So uh, you can see the size comparison and the speed comparison too. Although I don't think LMP2s are that much faster on the race fuel and the race conditions uh, but still the class privilege is you know a thing and then uh, you, you should let the faster class through and as oh, we which speak moving up which are moving up and Daniel Ricardo getting the move done on G750 uh, we'll, we'll, look, we'll, look, we'll look into that but this is like far uh, far down the, the field and right now we have George Brooks fighting for the lead in the class with Master oh, yeah, for sure, for so sure, for sure. I, I think it's going to be an interesting battle here yeah, if, if, you want to, if you want one more uh, like advice from me just you know like uh, we'll come back to slower guys it's good to show them but like battle for the class it is a, a lot like action going on as you can see master is looking up there on the last source josh brooks okay, sneaking okay, good in to know, good to know I'll, I'll keep that in mind for future uh and we go things, to La source right events. now we go to La source right now josh brooks is right behind master going not it, quite he's not close enough inside, for the move right here but master but is he looking gets up run. he gets the run out of the hairpin going into going down on the run to Oh Rouge.
Yes, he is. And I think George Brooks has a better exit. And as we speak, Prodizzi is right behind Max and Squell. We will move to those two. Uh, Roman Nash is unlapping himself slowly. Okay, no move there. Let's see. Prodizzi just going all the way uh, on the track. He's moving left to the right. The car is very unstable if you accelerate too quickly. And we have Lipsy right behind Diego Domingo. We'll come back to that too. Josh Brooks still chasing Master. And how is it looking? Lipsy's Domingo fight. They are on Orange Radion section on the Camel Straight right now. Lipsis is right behind Diego and he's gaining. He's gaining quite a lot on the he's straight. Gaining, he's gaining with the BMW up against the Lambo. Uh, Diego takes a defensive position into the, the comp. Which is Diego's a good choice. This is the good decision from the Spanish driver as a German driver is probably struggling finding a spot but he's doing a switch back there very opportunistic move from lipsis but i think diego will try to block him yeah he goes down the inside but diego is still there they're going side by side going to the inside of the corner they are just hitting doing the touring car moves as we call Some them contact, yeah. and diego domingo is still there still leading the race in the GT3 class as Roman Nash unlapped himself and he is just trying to get as close to other LMP3s as possible. He had the unfortunate collision in the beginning phase of the race. Speaking of, Matty Leibach is 15 seconds away from Orite. Uh, and why I'm showing Mati because he was in a good position and he bent it with I think Roman Nash too at some point. Let's check into Pro DZ right here. Pro DZ is still, just still chasing after Maxine here, but it doesn't seem like he's making too much progress though. He is still keeping up with him. Uh, I think he is. Let's compare the times. Uh, his last time is uh, 203.9. Uh, 202. Yeah, Maxine is faster, but Pro DZ is just doing it dive attempt here in the campus corner going to Cooper Paul Frere corner, Frere corner. Uh, sorry it's quite hard to switch languages at a quite <laughs> high pace as we go to Blanchimon corner and he is seeing Maxine Squell pulling away from him but I think Prodis is faster in the first sector as we speak uh, I think Vessel Vichat, yes, he is unlapping himself slowly through the grid. Roman Nash, in the meantime, doing the same thing too. So we have some unfortunate drama here. As we have Mixtrol. And Mixtrol is quite close. Uh, no, it's uh, Bonnevain and Vessel. They are quite close. And Mixtrol is gaining on it because if there is a car which needs to be um, passed by, if you just need to uh, make the pass for the car available, you you do it. And Bonnevain just went on the sand runoff. And here we are with Mixtrol just making a move. This is quite oh good. Oh my god. Uh, ProDZ and Maxine are battling right now. They are, they are. Speak. They are, sorry, I'm switching the camera right now as Prodizzi probably used some mistake of Maxine's. Maxine's is a slower, uh, is a faster driver, I think, overall. Uh, but Prodizzi, uh, no, uh, Prodizzi actually found some pace there. But I think he's uh, much more aggressive. He's looking for an opportunity and it's quite quite good shot for him. There's also Anto here, I think. Did he do a pit stop? Because I didn't notice him dropping down the order. No, he didn't. So there was some action going there, which I just missed. I'm really, really sorry that I didn't cover that. He is losing 18 seconds, but it's going to make the racing all the more interesting. Because yeah, I did not notice. I, I would have... I, I think it happened like while like ago, because uh, Prodizzi was... Oh, Prodizzi is, oh, Pro is losing time. Here. A lot of time we have Jerry Kiss behind him from the team bumper car. Team bumper car guys are actually taking all the podium positions right now. Amazing. And he gets the move done well, around the outside, but 
Prodigy not quite done, like I think Prodigy is that. there. And Dizzy will it's attack at the one. chicane. He will attack at the chicane. This is this is a golden opportunity you can do. And he's making the mistake. Oh, oh he made a mistake. Oh, Maxis oh. Quell made a mistake. Jerry Kiss just had to stay on the inside, but Prodizzi just avoided Maxine Quell. Prodizzi is still there. This is quite intense as we are progressing farther down the field. There's Lipsis chasing Diego Domingo, which is being chased by Mixro. Mixro is fighting a lot of pace recently as we have. Uh, Lipsis after a short, uh, sh let's say long break, but uh, it feels like a short break because his pace is still there. He's still quite fast driver and he's right he's behind Diego Domingo. He still got it, man. It's a, th a nice little three-way battle we got going on over here. Uh, it's a nice little train that we got going on here. Hopefully they can manage to get the pace so then they can make some moves. This is not a safety car, right? Because it feels like they are slower. Is there a safety car currently? No, I don't think so. They, I think I think they are racing. Yeah, but because uh, it looked like the, yeah, it looked like they slowed down. And I was like, what? Uh, but Polizzi in the meantime is again trying to get the position from Jerry Kiss. There is fun in front of him. He's stopping Jerry Kiss, which is making. Uh, Prodizzi oh, gaining a lot Jerry of time Kiss is gonna there. lose some time from that. Yeah, and, we, and it can, you can imagine, my voice is going quite high at this point of the race, and we still have it's one hour and 47 minutes to go, as we have another car on the left there, I think it was okay, okay, uh, Jake Timster. Okay, the back markers here, they're starting to lap some people. Yeah, it's gonna be a crucial... This is the mixed troll, Lipsias and Diego Domingo battle happening at the same location as the Jerry Kiss and um, Pro DZ battle. It's it's chaos right here, but in the good in the good kind. Yeah, oh, they, they go off track. A sp yeah, they made they made a um, space I think for uh, those faster cars, but it is also making a Diego Domingo as you can see uh, losing a lot of time to Lipsis, which is being chased by Mixtro, which is making the whole pack fighting together quite nicely and quite fiercely because this is this is a battle which will probably last till the end they are quite comparable on pace they're quite fast they're quite quite good quite really good drivers it's interesting it's interesting it's just, uh, sorry i can't speak right now it's Don't interesting worry. to see the three different cars battling against each other and there goes maxine uh getting by the other gt3 cars if you will feel like you, you have no voice or you need to uh, take a drink or take a break, just let me know. I can speak for probably even five hours in a row, so there is not a problem at all. Okay, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Yeah, you can take you can you can take a break. I can I can uh, just manage to do it on my own uh, too because I think uh, I have some experience and I also can talk quite for a long period of time, which is. Uh, quite good although there were uh, moments where i was uh, out of breath uh but i think my physical condition is uh better uh doing some cardio is improving your lungs capacity as you need to speak oh, yeah, a lot for sure, for sure. scream a lot and as we can see produce again behind jerry kiss over here uh they're going they're going through campus corner right here uh produce still hanging on with jerry currently uh, and we have Vessel Richard in front of them, so Vessel will be probably stopping Jerry Kiss a bit. As Depending they go on the move he will make. Who, know, who knows what happened? He's moving out of the way. Vessel is moving out of the way. Oh, but he will. No, he didn't block Prodizzi, but I think Jerry's, Jerry's entry to the corner was compromised by the inside line lane. And yes, it is. Prodizzi is behind him. It's maybe not as uh, close as you would think he is but he is still six times there breaking quite nicely on the 17th marker i think going there on the last horse corner and we are on the straight right now as we see josh brooks yeah, josh right brooks behind chasing master. master this is a fight for the lead in the class josh brooks doing very good job there Bingo Quinn is holding him up. Bingo Quinn is stopping Master Josh Brooks needed to oh, Josh Brooks counter with a bit of counter steer there. He almost lost it there as they go through campus corner. Bingo Quinn still holding them up. 
Pingo Queen oh, is, is just big, blocking big, them. Big. This is absolutely terrific. And oh, it is... Pingo Queen finally may gives him some room. Yeah, um, but it's too late, I Josh think. Got the slipstream going into the Blanchimont. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, it's uh, they are on the Blanchimont. They're just going quite aggressively on the cubs. They will be approaching the chicane, breaking on the white line. Slowing the quite a lot. Can't get the move done though. That wasn't the greatest line you could take on this corner. It looked quite junky, but this is yeah. uh, what it is. Master was trying to stay down the inside, just uh, keep the most defensive position there. Josh Brooks was trying to maximize his space on the track, but that wasn't uh, good enough. And we have Josh Brooks right behind the Master right now, as we have Prodizzi also for four, four he's tenths still behind on Jeremy Keys. Oh, he's man. still holding on with Jerry. And Lips is behind Diego. To we got Lipsias still holding on with Diego Domingo with Mixtrol still behind them. This is this is very intense right here. Each of these guys have to like really be on their really have to have the best pace so that they can stay ahead. One mistake, one slip up, one mistake, and the uh, the other two guys are passing passing through. Yeah. As we see Josh Brooks. Uh, wait a second, I need to check. Yeah, we are al al already one and a half hour in the stream. We are just doing a uh, quite long stream today, but we can manage. I think uh, the whole VLN yeah, sure. I stream... Think we, I think we can manage this. I think yeah, the, manage the, v this. the VLN stream lasted about four hours, I think. So, yeah. And we have George Brooks. Josh three Brooks tenths. is still on the tail of Master going through uh, the double gauge. A mixed uh, troll behind mixed Lipsis. Troll getting really close to Lipsias right here through the chicane. Do, can he? Can he? Can either of these guys make a move down the hairpin? This is quite uh, a we'll long train. A this is like the car centipede. They are just like three cars in a um, in a row, and they are just fighting, which is making quite. You know, like Diego needs to defend, so he will be slower. Lipsis need to be slower. Then uh, Mixro will be taking, uh, making a pressure up on Lipsis, and it might allow Bonnevain to get closer to them if he will continue to have a quite consistent good pace. As Jerry Kiss is dropping and Prodizzi is just getting the position in front of uh, him. Yes. Bing P2. Where is Jerry Kiss? Jerry Kiss is right there behind. Anto in the meantime is 14 seconds away from Alboita to P5. He dropped quite a lot and Oriti is off Arte the track. is off track. He made a mistake. But the region the was clean I think. Josh Brooks dropped the position to Charles Bertrand. Charles Bertrand. Jo Charles Bertrand making his way up the field. And Josh no, Josh Brooks is in the pit lane. Another position to allocate. He is in the pit lane. Yeah. No, no, no. He is in the pit lane. He just went to the pit. He is, uh, I think, uh, how many uh, how many laps he's done? Uh, let me see. Uh, but I think... Uh, Okay, one, yeah, one I think, uh, everyone's Ten gonna laps, be yeah. to make yeah. their pit so, stop now. Yeah, this, this, this is it, like, you need to, to go to the pit around, like, 10 laps or so, I think. Uh, because I think the, the tires will be dropping quite a lot, so it depends on the strategy. As we have Mixtrol still going there, I believe, like, the tires in, G in the GT3s will last a bit longer. Uh, and well, it we looks have... like Lipsy has managed to get past Diego Domingo. He did, he did indeed. Maca Silver car in front of Mixtrol's black McLaren there. And we are on the Cooper Paul Frère corner with my terrible pronunciation from French. But we are just going down the Blanchiment. And Lipsy is visibly pulling away by few tenths every corner. And we have Mixtrol still there, gaining on Diego Domingo. It's one tenth gain there. Diego Domingo staying in the middle of the track, just blocking and taking as much space as possible. So Mixtrol won't have a good exit. And he is successful to do that. And Daniel Ricardo is making a move going side by side with uh, uh, Bjarne the Prime, Bjarne the Prime, the German driver. And but he makes Ricardo a made a mistake. He goes off track. Yeah, he did. There's maybe some unorganized commentary, but there's plenty of action going no, on. No, don't worry, don't worry. This, field, is, this, so. this, this is good. Like we need some time just to um, how 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 I call it like use the expression in. Um, 
um, in the Polish language, but uh, I, I mean like you just need to uh, stretch your muscles basically it, uh, it's you know like you need to find your our like uh, uh, chemistry you know like you need to uh, talk a bit find the uh, comfy spot where you can just uh, sneak in your commentary where I can sneak uh, my commentary uh, but there's a lot of action we'll find our sweet spots and we'll be just like uh, perfectly feeling those uh, Mm, breaks between sentences but don't worry uh, this is your first commentary so just enjoy and have fun I hope that uh, any other people here are also enjoying uh, you being here as we have Mixtro right behind Diego Domingo Diego Domingo going quite aggressively uh, wide let's say he's very wide there and Mixtro is slowing down because we have Alan Picard car behind Maybe Mixtrol is thinking, I will let him pass, I will slow down a bit. And that car, being wooden shoulder, will make Diego Domingo slow down. But right now, oh. Diego is slowing down the wooden shoulder scar. Yeah, I'll keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, wooden shoulder will be able to slow down Domingo so we can uh, still have this battle going on. And he does let him pass. Uh, but yeah, just let chat let us know uh, if you're enjoying me as a special guest, if you're enjoying just the general commentary from Mosquito and the race as a They're whole. And he goes off track. It. They are uh, obviously enjoying it. Uh, who's who's, who's, who's off track? Uh, Diego? No, no, I think uh, Mixtro went off track for a Yeah, bit. he did. Uh, he did. No, no, the, he let Talos is, pass. is made up here. Yeah, now, so we, we are the having LMPs the. LMPs are going to be slowing down the GT3s around here. We are having the LMP uh, uh, soup. There's a lot of cars there, a lot of ingredients, and... Uh, uh, yes, the endurance soup. Yeah, it's, let, let's call this is the pineapple on pizza. You don't want it oh, here. Gosh. You don't want it uh, here, I, but I it's here. I don't know here. how chat feels about pineapple on pizza, <laughs> but I, I honestly don't mind. Pineapple. I don't mind too, don't but mind uh, this is controversial enough to have it here. So, uh, I like enjoying this commentary so much, because this is like uh, every here and then, you just try to sneak in your like antics your golden yeah, your little jokes here and, and there I, see, and this, I have a lot of them see, this going. is the beauty of commentary you can just have fun with it especially with you when you're with another person and we got uh when shoulder going past lipsy as lipsy has landing him through uh hopefully the bat hopefully the three-way battle will still be going on uh as the laps progress uh, it believe... seems like everyone's starting to get spread out even more though yeah i, I believe like we reach this part of the race when we'll be more chilled and we'll be more uh, based on the consistency and the strategy but the, you will never know like sometimes there is nothing happening like look at Charles Patron he's still there three seconds away from master there's Alexander Tsu four seconds away George Brooks on the alternate strategy uh, here I think there is only no they are actually Two different sets of tires and Pro Dizzy is on softs while the others are on mediums. Did he manage to be in the pit lane? That's my question. And my question will be answered soon. No, he was not. So Pro Dizzy is flying because he is actually on the faster tires, but they won't last longer, I think. Like so softer compound, not actually fastest because you can be faster on a uh, less soft, a less soft, harder compound, actually. Uh, but uh, it depends on the track, it depends on your uh, personal driver skills. And Vessel Vichat on two stops, uh, Fimster on two stops, unfortunately, because they had some adventures in the beginning of the race. And we have wooden shoulder off the track again. All blocked oh, in the chicane. Unsafe rejoin, unsafe rejoin right here. Yeah, well, okay, I wouldn't look, say that it was like that anybody, unsafe. But... That was that unsafe, but it was still moving while the others were on the track. But I think it didn't slow down then there as much as you would think uh, it could. Like they, like you, you still aim to take this line where the curb is, right? So yeah, it was yeah. more to the middle. But if they decided to go through the alternative approach the corner then probably they would be blocked uh but we never know what the intention uh for diego or Lipsis w were uh let's see the progress okay it looks like we're about like half an hour through the race so far a quarter of the way through um things are looking good so far uh gold aj is getting past 
is lapping some of the and he is leading the race right now i think that that will be a very long race for jack oliver who is already let's uh see so prodigy was in the pit lane i think because it's 24 seconds uh let me see no he wasn't why he's so much away um i'm not sure maybe maybe he made a mistake or something I mean, uh, but if he yeah, made a mistake, it, then the the rest of the field should make a mistake. I don't I don't know how. Uh, let me check. Let's see. Uh, hopefully, uh, Jack, when it comes to his stint, he'll turn on the Alan Prost mode and just go full alien. Uh, yeah. Jack Jack will be. Jack, yeah. This this is it. Like Jack has. Um, 13 seconds to go to p5 and 21 seconds it is manageable uh he is fast uh, what what are his times that are four seconds slower than what you do on the quality fuel the quality settings but um you can see anto just passing by the other cars there uh, this is nice duo father and son jack and anto this is good and we are with Shalbatron two seconds behind. Let me see. The Orite is actually a fight uh, which matters right now. We have also Diego Domingo. No, Diego Domingo is where the wooden shoulder is. Let's see LMP2s right now. Okay, so this is how it looks in the LMP2s. This is how it looks in the LMP3s. Uh, we don't see. Oh, yeah, we see, we see times. So we have 90 seconds. Mati Leibach has two Vivolves. So he needs to catch up. He needs to maximize his strategy and just being smart. And with GT3s, the field will be, I think, much closer. Uh, yeah, top field is much closer indeed. Bonnevain is losing five seconds to Mixtro, which is losing one second to Diego Domingo, which is losing two seconds to Lipsis. And then Brianna Prime is being separated by 25 seconds. So that's quite separated field uh, here. Uh, the most separated field is in the LMP2s. I don't know why Prodizzi is so far away there without making a pit stop, but that might be a pace from Gold's AJ, I think. Yeah, he's, he's faster. Yeah, I think it's just Gold AJ's pace there. Yeah, right yeah, there. He, he, it might be like the spice. Uh, uh seven kilometers long i wanted to say 14 but this is not the 60s configuration and we have prodigy yeah and then then you also have a traffic if you just leave the race and you are just quite comfy uh, comfy on your pace as you can see look at the map he is just right here having no traffic at all and look he's in no man's land right now yeah he's actually no man's land, actually no a man's lot of land. the other field uh are have dealing with traffic being slowed down so He's just got a fresh track in front of him, which is uh, which makes his pace that much better compared to everyone else. Unless if he does mistakes himself, there's no way I'm catching up to him. Do it not in the VR, then he, he uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's I've... been twice as much, yeah. Um, dude, endurance races are, are just like that, I guess. Endurance races are just like that. Uh, endurance races are about more about... Uh... Oh God, I just They're more about I... being consistent. They're more about being consistent. Uh, you know. Strategy. I would say strategy. Too, luck. Yeah. They, they are also depending on the luck. Like in uh, sim racing, uh, in sim racing endurance, I would say in AC maybe not. In I racing, you have more damage uh, related uh, stints, etc. Here we don't use that much of a damage here. We may use higher damage in the future maybe just to try it out uh but it's not really 100 percent realistic uh still and in real life conditions you have uh, this thing where uh the car can just break like you had with kubica yeah, for example yeah, like in, uh, random breakdowns yeah with kubica two minutes before the end of the race in 2021 uh yeah it happens and it's not like it break two minutes before that they had the same issue for 10 hours which was like just progressing to be much more uh severe with every every uh every minute every hour this is what i mean this is getting quite hot outside right now so i'm just getting more sweaty but uh, uh, I see. Yeah, understandable understandable uh what what's the temperature for you over in uh, poland it is not 
that terrible as you would think, uh, but I think it's uh, quite... Uh, um, wait a second, just me. Let me find... Because uh... yeah, for me right now, it's only like 15 degrees Celsius and there's like a thunderstorm warning, so it's... All good, but anyways. Uh... Uh, I think it's uh, the expression is stuffy or like airless, so like not not much of a uh, of a wind. So everything is just like the temperature is just staying in one place. So it's hard to breathe, and it's uh, only only I think 21 degrees, but it feels more like uh, maybe even 30 because there is no wind, you know, and the whole temperature is just staying there. And also like my PC is just going quite on a Tougher, um, I think, yeah, Master and Charles Bertrand are battling here. They're yeah, they are. Uh, wait, wait a second, there's something broke. Oh, it's it's working. Okay, I see it's working. Master going oh, to Master the pit lane. Pits, though. Master pits, though. And make sure and then... right behind Diego Domingo, which is currently losing the lead in the class. Will he go to the pit lane? No, he is not. Diego is defending from Masters Black McLaren. Uh, Mixtrol's Black McLaren. Yeah, yeah, and... The beautiful Black McLaren. Um, he's still right behind him. Uh, going into the hairpin. Diego Domingo, it seems like he is defending this lead pretty comfortably. Uh, uh not, not actually so. lead uh, P2. Uh, he's, uh... Uh, because Lipsy is leading the race actually in the GT3 and Master uh, yeah, is yeah, yeah. Uh, dropping behind shiny waffles as he is still in the pit lane Is he is he Ah, It's his spot there. Okay, because I was thinking he's just there waiting in the front of the pit lane What is going on and we have Fern I think they're doing their try. I think uh, wait, no, uh, no, no I, don't he... know. I don't know what's up with master. I don't know what's up with master, but like uh, yeah Yeah, he was he was just uh, having the greed spot there. So that that's a, that's a thing It looked like he was just standing there, but he was his greed spot there and we have Fern and Bjarne Prine fighting uh, Bjarne Prine actually chasing Fern not the other way around as we have wooden shoulder again stuck on again, the main straight winning. Ah, wooden shoulder man he's a nice canadian he doesn't deserve he's one to of, have he's it. one of us as a, as a canadian myself he's just he's one of us man it's, it's, and it's gold's like aj there. off the truck and then it's gold aj Roman off Nash the truck, truck free cars of the truck in oh gold's aj dnf from the looks of it, it just it just showed up on the standings there. Oh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. He, he teleported to the pits. Yeah, he just BNF. I don't know. Maybe a rage what quit. There. Yeah, probably. Maybe I don't know. So Prodizi but... will be leading a race. What happened? Whoa, Pro what, was was it a go. server moment? Uh, because like three cars just went there. Was it the server moment? I don't think so. God's AJ is rejoining. Okay, it must have been a server moment then. Must or maybe an internet moment. moment. But he still has some time. To be able to leave the pits, yes, he is 39 seconds, so he's still on the podium. <laughs> he's still in the podium. Wow, we have that's free, just we have amount free of pit stop conditions. Yeah, free pit stop. Wow. Uh, but anyways, I mean, free pit stop. He lost, he lost the, lead. the race overall. I mean, uh, free, free pit stops in the quotation mark, right? Because he lost the lead, but you know, like it is what it is. He needs to catch up. He will be angry. Uh, I don't know what happened, but he is still going there. Maybe he went out of the fuel. I, no, I don't think so. Maybe maybe his, uh, his uh, steering wheel disconnected. It, it is an uh, issue. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like a technical issue. Shabatron in the pit lane though. So you see, Jack, you still have a, a, a chance to get there, uh, I think, uh, because it reduced quite slightly. It's only nine seconds for Jerry Keys to get to Prodizi, so that whole 30 seconds advantage disappeared Maka oh luck again goodness, yeah man. unless uh, he fuel saves also, out, he needs... this what's happening at the chicane some crashes going on but anyways um I agree see. with Jack. Is there okay. anything else going on? Is there anything uh, else going no, on? No, no, Jack is just saying unless he fuel saves a lot, he'll need to go to pit again. Yeah, so uh, it, it's not a free pit stop at all, but what I mean is like uh, he, he, you know, he just disconnected, he came back with a uh, more automatic bit yeah auto much. automatic bit let's say but he lost still 30 seconds of time which is not a desirable moment but he still has a pace he's still catching up jerry kiss uh, it's unfortunate for him to see him there as we will move to uh where is fern 
Already seen the pit. Already seen the pits. Uh, also, Jack, uh, who 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 are you talking to when you say uh, you should try endurance races? Uh, uh, who, who, who to Ben Hayes. To Ben Hayes. He's speaking. Uh, okay, to ben, okay. Yeah. yeah, and the Mixtrol is having Mixtrol issues. Mixtrol off track. There goes there goes the fight between Mixtrol and Diego Domingo. Mixtrol makes a mistake. And then Bonnevain will be sneaking in. Bonnevain oh, is again boy. on the podium position right now. But it is one hour, 23 minutes to go. This is a long race and we're yeah. still going. It's, not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marathon, not a sprint in the words of Lewis Hamilton. And the golds, AJ, got there as Max since I think it was in the pit lane or he let him pass. I don't know. Prodizzi is in the pit, so he ah, lost Prodi the Yeah, yeah, Prodizzi is in the pits, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was still there where he was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just uh, forgot about it. So y you can you can see how different strategies people take. Like Josh Brooks was in the pit lane quite some time ago after 10 laps. Uh, I think he will be visiting the pit lane soon. Because he's already on another 10 laps uh, yeah, on those tires and I, I don't know what his strategy maybe he was like trying his first thing on like lesser fuel maybe and then he is just like getting more fuel maybe the tires uh, are not that you know um, carrying yeah, out possibly possibly uh, uh, let's, let's see let's see the leaders of each class are looking like uh, we got uh, Jerry uh, up in the lead for uh, LMP LMP2 by six uh, Charles seconds. Bertrand, uh, uh, Charles Bertrand Charles uh, Bertrand in the lead for LMP3, and we got Lipsias for uh, in the lead for uh, GT3. Yeah, and it's That's for cool. LMP2s and LMP3s. This is the lead by six seconds. Over and it looks P2. like uh, Josh Brooks uh, and uh, Josh Brooks, like Alex Josh is right behind Josh yeah. Brooks from the looks of it. Yeah. Alexander Shitsu is right behind him. Um, Maca driver and the river driver like not, not very official Maca driver but he is still part of the Maca community and he is right behind Josh Brooks let me see from the drone camera he's getting really close there he's getting really we close. have a time progression here so we may get some nice shots later while the session will progress down the evening Josh Brooks is pulling away actually it looks like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like Josh Brooks got a better exit around uh, out of that corner there. Um, let's see. Oh, oh Brody D makes a move on Jack on Jack Oliver. I think. Oh no, wait, no, Jack just no. pitted. He is in the pit lane. He's in the pits. Okay, okay. Um, Jack said Prodizzi must be mess, uh, uh, must has, uh, have messed up somehow because he shouldn't be pitting this early. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, possibly, but I wouldn't know because uh, I don't know exactly the pit strat the ideal pit strategy uh, for this race over here. Yeah, for, for the next AF2 I will probably do more research uh, for the future. And the Talos is, is slow. very slow, slow on the fine corner. He's just letting all the cars pass by. I don't know what's happening. Why he's just so slow. Did he run out of fuel or what happened there? No, he's just running. Ellis, what? What happened there, bro? Oh, he teleported to the pits. That's weird. Uh, That's okay. weird. As Gold's AJ is just chasing Jerry Kiss. Uh, Jack, I don't know uh, about Prodizzi actually, but. I know that he was on the different tires. He was on softs. Uh, I don't know if uh, if it is a changing factor, but yeah. The others are on mediums. Gold's AJ was on mediums, having quite good pace. I don't know. Tell us exiting the pit lane right now while. Uh, I think he just ran out of fuel. I think. It looked like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think he ran out of fuel. in the pit lane, nothing happening here. As you can see, the gaps are enormous. Prodizzi just passing by uh, and chasing Alboita. 
Alboita versus Pro DD. This might this might get interesting over here. The two LMP LMP two cars. I think Pro DD gonna get one. This is gonna get. Almost called them LMP one. Oh, but Pro DD pits again. Again. So yeah, this is this is what Jack said. Maybe he messed up something. Maybe. I also almost called them LMP one. I forgot that you got we don't run L LMP one cars. Yeah, LMP two is. Uh, but yeah, don't worry. Oh, uh, DZ it, disconnected. Oh, he, he disconnected. Did he rage quit? What, what happened there? No, no, no. I don't think it was a rage quit. I think he Even had an issue, maybe. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe some issue related thing. Like, uh, if you just rage quit, you just stop on the track and just go. He just went to the pit oh, lane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or he probably made a mistake and then just like out, out. Just no, that's no, probably that, no, that's no, what no, looks no. like a rage. Maybe, that's no, what rage no. Quit. I, I, I don't think he he did it. I think he went to the pit lane. Uh, because he and had some like issue. He, no, he had some issue with uh, maybe uh, hardware or something. Uh, and oh, okay, he, yeah. he just went that safely there uh, to not be stationary car or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like a rage quit would look like uh, like a, let's say someone made a mistake and they just instantly disconnect. No, if, if, if you see somebody crashing and then leaving the server, it feels yeah. like a. That's a rage quit right there. And Pingo anyways, Queen, uh, Pingo through. Queen on the grass. On the side, yeah, hitting Pinker the wall. Yeah, Pinker is making mistakes here. For new I, new racing. Yeah, it's. Uh, who, who knows? When, who knows if his contract with new new racing would be? He's the owner, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. I know. I know. Uh, uh, but anyways, um, Alex is within one second of Josh Brooks. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else going on here? Uh, Beyond the prime, chasing uh, Talis. Uh, tell us and is, shiny waffles. Uh, yeah, but tell us is but, in a different class, but I think this yeah. is the closest we might see. Uh, Stellas space is not good, man. This space Pretty is not much, good. Yeah. yeah, I am not like uh, making jokes or so, uh, or anything, but like tell us space is, as you can see, um, quite slow. So he might have some fights with LMP3. Uh, his best is 205 compared to 2013 of slowest car and 209 there so yeah he might actually get get some fight there I'll uh, wait up pits. Diego uh, Domingo is leading so I think the pit stop strategy changed something as Diego is there in the lead, in the yes. lead. That we that we have oh, master behind and Alexander Tsu is Alex, off the Alex truck. Alex made a mistake while trying to battle uh, Josh Brooks. By the looks of it. Let me see. Prodizzi has uh, no tell us. No, no. There's nothing about Prodizzi in the chat. We'll need some on-track reporters like Ted Kravitz. Uh, you will just see. Oh, I am in the pit lane and I see this car. They messed up his pit uh, pit stop. <laughs> and then and then yeah. Uh, and then he's just. Uh, Maybe we could use like someone uh, who has access to AF2 chat to see like what's going I, I, on. I, with I know, these guys. I know, I know. I'm just like joking. Just, we are not yeah. that professional, and I don't think we just need to be. Uh, yeah. But we're just trying to have fun here. This is this is for fun league. I mean, I'm just uh, trying to be professional, but you know, like uh, this is still sim racing in semi pro league, and yeah, yeah it is just painful to see pro DZ. LH44 hashtag blessed just dropping down the order P11 right now he was leading the race at some point. Hashtag blessed currently. Uh, uh, hashtag cursed as he is just cursed. yeah she's just going down the Blurst. order and we have beyond the prime still chasing Jake Fimster, the American driver and the German driver uh, as we go American driver in Porsche. And actually Porsche if we just keep to the German pronunciation and uh, when we have yeah. and we have the Mercedes or Mer Mercedes uh, right behind him the two German cars battling against each other yes and Fimster is pulling away actually so we are not going to see much of the fight going on we can I think it, we are just reaching that point we can just uh, chat about um, Maybe AF4 for some time. So AF4 is starting um, not next week, but like in in two weeks. Uh, Lips is in the pit lane. No, he's not. AF4. He's just letting. No, he's just letting the oh, yeah. uh, us tell us by. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And and the thing is, AF4 is starting 16th uh, 16th of July. Um, 
what's about it it's mazda mx5 uh the cup car with the sequential update it's a pretty cool car pretty nice car as we mentioned it before it's a rookie yeah, friendly car is brands hatch uh, gp layout gp layout yes, yes exactly yeah with with the 32 grid slot update um and uh, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good one you know uh, it will I, be. I like brands hatch uh, you know brands hatch in the mx5 is pretty cool we wanted to um, use the indie layout first but then uh, they decided to use the full layout i was more in the favor of the indies layout is like shorter it makes uh yeah, mistakes yeah. I, I would less... honestly prefer the indie layout and honestly personally i have more nostalgia for the indie layout of brands hatch i hated indie layout first but then i started started liking it to be honest but then we're gonna move oh, after it's going down v wolves um yeah, Vessel, Vessel is chasing V-Wolves because of the Pingu Queen slowing down. Again, Pingu Queen just uh, doing not quite... I mean, it, this time it was better, but like before it was like horrible blocking there. Yeah, just blocking. Without he was probably, even he racing. He was probably pressured to, you know... And, and Vessel oh, is... He goes around the outside. He, he's looking for a move around the outside, but he can't get it done. Yeah, he's but... still falling behind V-Wolves. Two Dutch drivers here, and Vessel just making a mistake going on the sand. He just, yep, there goes that battle. This, um, this is, this is how, no, no, I don't think so. It, it is still a chicane there, so you can just, uh, like, you maybe, lost maybe, a couple maybe of seconds. Maybe will make but, a mistake and uh, yeah. get a bad exit, possibly. Yeah, there, there, there are, not, there are Dutch, but they are not Jens. So I would say, yeah, as you can see, he's, uh, he's locking oh, up. Oh, there's a mistake. There's the lockups uh, from both of them, Pingu actually. Quinn sneaking there, too. Pingu and... Quinn, no. Yeah, Ping Pingu is not having the greatest race of his life right now, but he is still yeah, hopefully, trying. Hopefully he'll get some redemption in AF1 tomorrow. Um, let's see. Um, Richard is still behind V-Wolves. Um, Going, going on the run down to uh, Orouge and Radion. Um, hopefully, we'll see, hopefully we'll see him make a move soon enough. Uh, Whoa! Well, what was oh, that? Oh, we missed something. Vivols makes a mistake on Orouge and Radion. If it, it happened in real track. life, that would be a huge crash, I think. Yeah, I, I didn't even see what happened there. Because, uh, uh, he uh, just lost the control on uh, Radion, I think. Like, he just uh, immediately went uh, to the right side spinning so i think this uh, was like throttle also, control Mixtro Mich Mich gets a overtake done on bonavain bonavain is still keeping up behind him maybe he'll get a better exit out of the chicane oh the silent car and yeah the silent car the silent formula e porsche and the black mclaren he's looking for a move around the outside can he get it done he will be doing a switch uh, back really, there. Switch yes, back. he is. He is. He, he has can, a better he gets acceleration. A good out the corner. Mixed roll alongside. Closing the door, but not quite a lot to the wall. So. And he gets the move done into El Rouge. But Mixed roll gonna bite back. As you can see. Oh, they're both cutting the corner, but Mixed roll is not carrying. He's just carrying so much speed there. Going side by side with both of them. straight. Going side by side down the Kemmel Strait. Yes, they are. Oh, Mixtro gets back at him. Oh, this is an interesting battle right here. <coughs> this is so good. This is like, um, you know, like this is the stage of the race with this something, and there's not much going on, but there's still that one or two drivers which are still trying to have their personal battles. It will change at some point of the race. We still have one hour ten minutes to go. Um, yeah, this is still the one hour ten minutes to go, like you said. Uh, this is the battle for second in the GT3 category. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Celis gets, uh, gets past uh, Diego Domingo, probably because the uh, uh, category. Yeah, this, 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 this is. This is because Stellas is driving LMP2, Diego Domingo is driving GT3. Uh, and as yeah, you can much. see, Telus is having pretty much. But it looks like Mixtro stayed ahead of Bonavane for the time being. Uh, V-Wolves and... Uh, V-Wolves is in the pit lane. They? Oh, V-Wolves is in the pits. Okay, I didn't see that. Whoops. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. Boxing. 
following the action as Jack Oliver is making a move on Maxence Quell. Like I think oh, it's still Anto, it's right still here. Anto though. I, w I wonder if it's uh, Jack in the driver's seat now. Are you still there, Jack, or you are racing? I'm just like uh, asking, so we'll know. Either way, but oh, it looks like what Wessel is gonna pro slow possibly down. slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Maxine and uh, Jack. But Jack gets the move done on both of them. The double overtake into the double Yeah, ground. double pass. And then Maxence was also led by Vessel. This is good. This is looking good here. Maxine is still keeping up with uh, Jack Oliver, though. A Bonavane is it might be a Jack turns, because let's, the, keep, let's, stay, let's keep looking at this one. It, this it, one yeah, it, like... it might be Jack because the lap time dropped by one second. <laughs> oh yeah, it's probably Jack then. It's probably Jack. Yeah, he's starting to pull away. Here. Yeah, the, the battle won't go along as this one, for example. Yeah, Bonavane, Bonavane and Mixtrol. Stroll. They're still battling it out here. Bonavane is still keeping up with Mixtrol over here in the fight for the second place and GT3. This is starting to look good here as we slowly but surely approach the halfway point of this race. Man, that that black McLaren is just so beautiful, honestly. This is why black is my favorite color, honestly. Fun fact about me. Uh, black is my favorite <laughs> color, and it's for this reason. Because it just looks so good on some things, you know? I like every color, uh, but you need to use those colors smart. That's that. That's the thing. Oh, for sure, for sure, for like, sure. Like, uh, sure. you know, like if you if you like if you look at the Bonavent, for example, blue, white, and orange, they work perfectly well. This is the um, uh, good standard in the graphic design. This is the t uh, tetrarchy of the colors, so it works. But if you just look, for example, like. Uh, the black cars are, this is the psychology, they just look like menacing, they, it is looking a bit uh, like uh, there's Jerry Kiss going behind the McLaren, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, which is you're right. a bit stopped yeah, you're right. here. Black cars look more menacing, they look more More like aggressive. Batmobile, like Batmobile uh, vibes, you know? Yeah, it, it looks Batmobile. a bit like Batmobile here, uh, so uh, it is and menacing. It just looks cool, it just looks cool. Like, in my fun fact, we are using the blue liveries on the uh, uh, pro cars in AF4 this season because actually yeah, it's, it's, blue like we we were about to use red but then red is more of an aggressive color if you see aggressive you think uh you, you are just your brain uh is more of thinking more aggressively about the red color and also it is thinking oh the danger is coming if you see the car there so it might make the pro drivers more scary to the M drivers so we decided to go with blue which is more chill color to see if it will like make the pro drivers less menacing yeah but, and considering i'm in the M class it that kind of psychology is something that happens like no that uh you don't really notice but it, it does happen you know like you see that car you see you hear pro you see red and you think oh that's a big deal it doesn't a big deal oh this guy's fast you, yeah. you think oh my gosh this guy's fast they are, they are not really that's the thing. They are not really like. Yeah, and this is coming from someone who is in the AM class. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, Jack Oliver uh, up in third. So it seems like uh, he's making some progress down the field in the LMP2s. Let's keep the drone camera right now. I will just see some news on the server. Uh, let and me... I am completely blind to the action. <laughs> I know, I know. Sorry, because if I just it's all good, it's all good. It's switch all good. Uh, the windows, you just don't hear them. Uh... And the, 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 it, it's stuff like this that makes a uh, double monitor is uh, pretty helpful because I got I got the data like set on my other monitor along with chat, so I, I could just see what's going on here. But. Okay, so uh, by Mythic has a CPU issues, I think, or maybe like PC issues, uh, hard drive, so he couldn't race. I would just ask Pro DZ. Uh, what happened? And yeah, let's see. Tell us passing by some lapped cars. 
Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see. We're looking at. Uh, but you can you can see how far in the back he is. And you can see he's just Brooks through his P9 and he is P14 at the moment. So he has a lot of work to be done. How do you enjoy the stream, though, people? Like, uh, yeah. ten people watching. Uh, let let us know. Let us know how the stream is going along. Uh, let yeah. us know if the commentary is good so far. If the commentary um, is good, obviously you don't need to ask. You just need to be yeah. self-confident uh, that it. Commentary goes. is definitely good. It's, it's quality commentary, right? <laughs> I, I used to ask. Good. I used to ask about it like uh, every time I just started. Right now, I'm just like. Uh, I don't because I know that I just do good if you just have the flow if you just follow if you just make like you can I noticed how much More boring are the races where you just uh, Show the action without much of the commentary there I was like watching one of the TCR races where the Polish commentator was like very very um uh, just straightforward. Uh, no, no, just no, no, like no. He, he, was, he was actually, he was actually not talking much because he was like commentating Le Mans before, and he just finished. So he was doing the TCR race after Le Mans, and he was like uh, pretty much uh, uh, in the back. He wasn't like commentating all the action every every two or three minutes. He said few sentences, and that, that's all. So I just thought, uh, yeah, that, that that shows how like the the racing wasn't maybe. Um, very entertaining but if you just uh added some emotions it could go through and we have mixture losing a position uh oh there's vivos unlapping okay so that that's all and there is also and jack that. olivier being slowed down by vivos a bit but he is just passing by the um so yeah so that's how it works uh basically uh if you just are able to add something to the race it adds this uh, this vibe, this atmosphere. Yeah, to it just it. adds vibes, excitement, you know, interest, interest, I guess. But yeah, it, which makes sense. Which makes sense. But you need to also. You, know, you don't want you don't want just uh just completely boring moments with no commentary at all. That just gets boring, right? So. Yeah, but you need to also to be confident, right? You just need to do like a lot of like emotions, a lot of interest. Uh, people like my commentary because uh, I'm just like. Um, it, it's, it's exciting. You energetic, know? I've seen, yeah. I've seen the streams, you know, it's pretty exciting. You know, it is not the best commentary. commentary. You can, it is not the best commentary you can have. It is not like uh, mean, yeah. uh, it is not the highest level yet. I'm still like, uh, and of course, I'm not native, so it won't be quite hard. It will be quite hard for me to just keep up as uh, i'm i'm just getting better i think today i'm just going uh yeah. doing uh, the, the great oh, job the, both of us are getting better especially me since this is my first commentary <laughs> you, like I, uh, I think i'm doing pretty good the learning know? curve for you will be just enormous after those two and a half hour let's say because you just oh, uh, yeah, sure. you just gonna be you know uh finding mm, better ways how you can just uh, follow the action maybe not uh, in the terms of like giving emotions away because uh we are not having as much of an emotional uh moments today actually because uh, as oh you can... jake feemster overtakes bonavane uh, yeah they're battling but is he going through the other pit lane no it looks like this but yeah uh, the, it looks are, like we're battling those, right here are those teammates yes those are in the fat sim racing liveries representing shiny waffles who is also there shiny is also like p4 in the class after a lot of mess yeah, just... josh brooks dropped there oh, pretty good right here. Um, with his not quite good strategy oh poor josh Poor Josh, especially uh, after what happened to him in AF1 uh, in mid Ohio. What happened at the mid Ohio, though? I didn't. I wasn't there. You can. Yeah, I mean, like, um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Was a big, a, a somewhat from my perspective for AF1 mid Ohio. Um, initially, uh, I was behind uh, Jake Feemster and uh, Josh Brooks battling. Th those two battling each other. Uh, I was just behind them, right? And eventually, uh, I spun out, but they kept battling. And I think, um, if I remember correctly, um, uh, Josh at some point uh, ended up dropping out of dropping out of a fight because of a mistake, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, anybody who ha who had who was at the at that AF1 race, but um, yeah, yeah, mistakes happen. I, I know one. I know one key thing is that like. Um, 
Uh, I think one of the moments where he did drop out of the battle with Jake Feimster was like uh, he was uh, he was ahead of me, and then he just dropped. He just uh, made a mistake and then just uh, overcorrected and went off turn one in mid Ohio. I, I remember seeing him do that. Though then again, I don't really remember too much from races. I know the general gist of what happened to myself and my perspective, but yeah. I mean, but anyways, we got some of the some of the guys lap uh, being passed. Some of the back markers here. We, we have yeah, a quite people's. different uh, memory, I guess, because memory memory is quite good. I can throw the examples of the previous races. Also, if you just commentate something, it is states stays in your mind like if you just drive you probably forget a lot of stuff happening there because you just focus on you and just getting there so if you are just very focused you are just doing not thinking but if you just uh, yeah and if you just um commentate you have much more space to think and to remember and to notice and i did quite for sure of races uh, i commentated i think like about more than 20 i think uh yeah i think maybe even 30 or 40 uh couple of like co streams with matty and josh uh we, we i did with josh like i think almost the whole af4 formula supreme season it was yeah it, it was formula supreme because it has pushed to push to pass and the famous imola button incident so oh gosh uh so yeah so we had we had it, uh, and I was like streaming alongside Josh. So it was like six or seven races I did that season. I did almost uh, half of the previous season. I have one season in this season. I did one race, one race I didn't. Uh, no, two races actually, but one like with Mati. So we will see. Maybe I'll do one. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'll have, have time. Tell us, it's just uh, going through the field. I, I just hope uh, tomorrow's Air Force uh, race does get streamed. But yeah, Bonavane is getting awfully close to Jake Feimster over here. Oh, there's a G750 off the grass, just jumping the, there, doing yeah. a rally. Yeah, Channeling his inner rally skills. He's last there, but you don't need to be. Uh, like you need to finish. This is the, the oh, greatest Bonavane achievement. Is within two yeah, he is. Within three tenths. With his teammate. Close. And awfully silent. Oh yeah, the I don't know. Something something's got to be wrong with the the Porsche because uh, no no no. The, this is this is the stock Kunos one. So I think uh, this is the CSP issue. Like uh, CSP messed mm. up Porsche uh, to 2017 uh, Porsche Cup. It wasn't working on a particular version of it. I think 175. Oh, okay. So it yeah. might be an issue with Porsche, but like with the other one on the other uh, CSP, I don't know. He's just going wide. I don't know why he's just. And going... it looks like Jake. Jake, ah, and, Jake is uh, in a pit lane. It's yeah, they, they pitted. Okay, so master also. Uh, I was looking forward for a good battle, but I guess uh, pit strategy. So Charles Bertrand is leading a race, and if I'm being correct. Uh, he might win the championship because the championship is set up to be four races long, I think. Um, I'm not hyping it up because I'm not sure, but I, I think after it, we are just gonna announce another set of like four races for like another AF2 V2 uh, season. And right now, Charles Bertrand is almost tied with Alfie. Uh, he's tied with Alfie Bevan and three points behind Alexandru Boltashu, uh, which is meaning that Shal uh, and also like with Radulea, but uh, Radulea, Popovic, and uh, Boltashu and Bevan are not racing. So Shal Bertrand is going to take the win if he's gonna finish where he is. Um, okay, that that would be interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, interesting. He just finished. He just wins ti one title to the Discord. Done. As okay, we... but anyways, we got Maddie going up against Josh Brooks over here. The two British boys and battling it out here. Two uh, previously um, connected to river racing drivers. Now Matty drives not as a river driver apparently, but he used to be part of a river for a long time. And then, okay, so let's see.
Maddie is looking for the move, but just can't quite seem to find the an down opening. the inside diving. Not quite yet. Just Brooks looking, uh, uh, looking for. Free space there, locking up. Uh, not locking up, but closing up the. Um, oh, Josh Brooks gets a good exit. The door. Closing Suki the door. gets a pretty good exit. Yeah, Matthew messed up build there. Build a gap there. Yeah. Builds a gap there, but hopefully uh, Maddie can uh, close the gap. Well, let's see. Fern goes past uh, Daniel Ricardo, but let's let's keep it on here. Let's keep it on here. Yeah. Arda, I think, made a mistake. It's four seconds there. Uh, Alexander yeah. Tsu just uh, getting past Charles Bertrand, but I think, yeah, Charles Bertrand is in yeah, the pit Charles lane. Yeah, in, in the pits. Uh, you see, see the P letter on the white rectangle yeah. shape there, which means he the is in the pit lane, yes. Yeah. Explaining the obvious uh, stuff as Master is just getting past uh, shiny waffles. Uh, hold on, my bad. Siri just activated on my phone for a second there. But anyways, uh, Master gets uh, past uh, uh, Master uh, and Shiny Waffles. No, no, oh, no, wait, no. what the heck is uh, that? Shah Patron just okay. left the pit lane in front of those, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah, so. he did. But let's he... see, uh, Ma Master is close behind. Same thing with Shiny Waffles, uh, pretty decently close. Uh, uh, so, as you can see, the whole pack. Uh, Shah Patron, Master, Shiny Waffles. Uh out there and then you have josh brooks and matty Leibeck fighting so we have quite a lot of battles going on but there's wooden shoulder oh, between no. them wooden shoulders in between them yeah like you said he will wooden let them pass but slow him down. i mean you can get a slipstream there but matty is just trying hey, man just move aside just let me go and in the meantime we have master and uh, master um uh, I've, told, I've told you this before, Mosquito, but I don't know if anybody else knows, but he is my teammate in uh, AF1, Team Bro Racing. Ooh. And ha so. how, how you do as a team? I think quite well, as Master is not doing well right now. He is just oh, he messing up the double ghost section. Ch Charles Patron is just pulling away. We're just making Shiny Waffles a better opportunity here. He is just right there, right behind him. And I think Shiny will take the momentum. It's seven times already. Sharp Patron will be defensive there as Master. Oh, Shiny Waffles is counter steering there, but it's a good control over the car. He's still in a good shot for an opportunity. It's like uh, overtake opportunity. It's still like one second behind the Master. Uh, he will gain a lot of time on the chicane because obviously Sharp Patron will be defensive. Master will be looking for a move, and Shiny Waffles just needs to not outbreak himself and it will be good shiny is going down the inside the because there is a car the behind chicane. this max oh, Maxine Squall. gets led past Maxine's, Maxine's Squall is there yeah let's see there is master there master there is uh still i think two yeah he's improving a bit one tenth of an improvement here still he's still, for him. He's still keeping up with charles but uh with Charles Bertrand, but um, it seems like he Charles is starting to build a gap a little bit here. But Master looks like he's starting to close the gap just a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, let's see. I think he's on As fresh they go tires. Down the great. Uh, he has to let Maxine pass though. There he goes. Hopefully Maxine will slow down uh, Charles. Then we can get a good battle on our I mean, hands I wouldn't here. say hopefully, but uh, it, it, it keeps the battle right. alive and he does it. He does uh, slow down. He does it, he does it. I did, okay, that was poor choice of words. Poor choice of words. No, but, I, mean, um, I, mean, I mean, no, it's like we, we, we like the action, but you know, it's like yeah. uh, for, for the drivers, it's frustrating. For the viewers, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, fun. It's like the, the last lap of Abu Dhabi, right? For the drivers, yeah, it was much. frustrating. Uh, for the teams, it was frustrating. For, for us, it was. G750 right ahead of them too. And let's say uh, yeah. It's gonna slow them down. G is quite slow there. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, that very costed much a lot of time. Um uh, Prine behind wooden shoulder there. Diego Domingo 11 seconds to Lipsis. Diego is in his second spot where he does uh, like to be. He is P2 driver and he will probably stay there for a while. We are streaming this race obviously so he's not going to win it. There is like this Phaeton, this 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 
Um, Another commentator's uh, curse where yeah, Diego ne Domingo never wins? Never wins when the race is on stream. Oh, that is. Oh, yeah, I heard about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I never remember. And I uh, if it is streamed, he's usually P2. He's like always P2. He, he barely wins, uh, which was also like. Uh, there was like the at the end of the year we had like the AF awards and we did a P2 of the year category and uh, Let me guess, he, he, won that, he won that uh, but uh, Charbatron was second so he won P2 of the year because he was second uh, because Charbatron oh used to be second he's not P2 of the year now I think because Shal is uh, winning or getting P3s actually more often recently I think so. Okay, okay. That's that's that that's quite good. Up a little bit. 48 minutes to go, so it's uh, not quite long. It's like uh, having a 45 minutes of classes, like sitting yeah, in pretty school. Much. We can we can we can manage. We can manage. It's like uh, having a double block or something. I don't know. I don't know how long your periods are, but uh, in Poland, uh, one one class lasts like 45 minutes. Then you have a break from five minutes to 20. Uh, 20, yeah. The longest one, oh, yeah. uh, but you have like oh. usually you have five minutes, and then the, during the day there's one like longer for uh, eating or just resting, which is like twenty. Uh, so this is how it looks like. A master is still chasing Charbatron, one second behind him, and at the same time, um, let me think. There's Diego Domingo, eleven seconds behind Lipsis. There is also Jack Oliver establishing the fastest lap, lap right now, thirteen seconds actually to Jerry Kiss. So he has. 47 minutes to go to get close to Jerry Kiss. He won't get AJ though. AJ is 1 minute 23 seconds away. So Jack Oliver is not going to win this one, but he's going to have a great fun catching up. Yeah, the goal, goal to AJ is just long gone at this point. Pulling two minute lap times right here. This long gone. This is a long race for everyone, especially considering that there is a summer in Europe and most of the drivers are European based drivers. So it's gotta be it's gotta be pretty hot over there. Yeah, right yeah, here, and recently. and pretty uh, let's say uh, tough conditions if you it's it's not like it can be hot hot one day, but if it's like hot seven days in a row you just don't rest. You just don't rest as, as much as you would normally. And we have master five seconds from Charbatron, as Charbatron must have made a mistake. Oh I yeah, think. he must have. Three times away. Let me see for some time. Master, the Master is putting on the pressure currently. He's putting on the pressure. Hopefully, uh, not hopefully, but like, uh, we'll, I mean, hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully, yes, if... yes, you can say hopefully in this case. Hopefully, he will get close to Charbatron. Yeah, we'll hopefully, see... he'll get close. Um, and we'll see if Charles does crack under the pressure. But uh, so far, he is holding on. So far, it's pretty so, interesting so here. far, yes, he is. And let me think. Forty-five minutes to go. Uh, Jerry we're, Kiss we're in the close second. We're the ending stages here of this race. The, yeah, the time, the, time progression is looking pretty good. You know, the sun. I mean, it will be evening. It won't be. It won't. It should not be night conditions. So it will get a bit darker, but not quite dark. We are at the double gauche section right now with Master, who is four tenths already behind Charbatron. Charbatron's space is dropping. Come on, Charles, just keep defending. Just uh, keep... is probably going to slow, slow down Charles even further. Oh, never mind. He, he's making yeah, he room. is. He's he is. Room. Oh, he's now blocking Master. Master is having a horrific entry to the Kubru Paul Frere corner. Because if oh, you just go man. down the inside, you just lose a lot of time. The outside lane is the lane you should take. He didn't do. Did we just one. curse him right there? Did no, we just curse him no, right there with <laughs> no. This is the traffic. You don't curse anyone. And the wooden shoulder is just going past Jake Fimster, but wooden shoulder is having a very unfortunate race. So uh, we come back to him maybe I just later. Feel, I just feel bad for wooden shoulder as a fellow Canadian. He is not doing so hot. Um, I, I just I just hope he has better luck uh, in future races. Hopefully. Let's go, uh, Master. As Master is.
Just getting closer and closer. There's Mixtro. Mixtro might be blocking the uh, Radion. He needed to go down off the throttle because if they go side by side they are quite comparable on the straight the uh, the place where i think lmp 3s are making a difference are the Master corners the stream and then mix roll lets him pass Let's yeah he is faster and on the camel straight i think shabatron had a worse entry because of the traffic and then oh master just throwing the car on the leg comp corner just trying to stay as close as possible to Shabatron. This fight is intense, this fight is long. Uh, as we have still 43 sec uh, minutes to go until the end of the race. And Shabatron is under a high pressure from the Polish driver, which goes by the name of Master. And Master in the white livery, right behind the Maka classic LMP3 car, driven by Shabatron is not slowing down he is still just there just keeping the momentum keeping all he's he can the gap. do he's causing the gap he is maybe indeed. within a few corners maybe within a few corners we'll see him move he's still looking for he's still looking for us we have go arda in corner. front yeah arda. your ricardo's up ahead they might daniel might hold him up no he's Never not he but right this past. is on inches it looked like uh, Master's car was losing the rear. Shabatron is losing the momentum. Uh, Master is just going down on the blanche on Shabatron. Two tenths. Two tenths. This is probably going to be a move down uh, into the chicane. Yeah, down on the blanche on Shabatron wasn't defensive as much yeah. as you think. Just side Shabatron by side. Shabatron gets a bad exit. And he gets the move done. But he, Shabatron is still in no, there he's on the inside up. of the chicane. Oh. Oh, oh. they collide. Oh. They collide. Oh my God. Contact. Contact. Oh. There's contact there. But Charles, Charles still keeps the position there. I think Master let him through. Yeah, I think Master gave up the position. Because Master will be attacking down the inside. Behind. Going he's for the still switch close back. Behind. No, Shabatron is defensive. Source. Oh, this is intense. They go through the source. Oh, the rundown uh, Orouge and Radion. This is, this is great. This is a good fight right here in the uh, LMP3 class. This is the fight for second in the LMP3 class. They get, they get through Overroot and Radion just fine. Uh, Master has to run. He goes down the inside. And he does side. get the move done. Can he, can he stay ahead? Down the Kemmel straight. No, but Ron is still no, there. Just fighting. Oh, the they, they go side by side again. again. Contact he, again. Charles ends up cutting the corner. He didn't let him much space though. So Yeah, I've... he gets pushed off. I yeah, think he there. shouldn't do that. Shabatron going for a dive on the Brussel corner. But Master is still there. Master is still defensive. Master will be trying to do as much as he can. Shabatron is making the pressure by uh, using, uh, flashing his lights, actually. And uh, Master is just trying to stay as consistent as possible, uh, as defensive as possible. But he's going wide. He's losing a lot of... Uh, Crucial momentum there as we go to the funny corner and uh, What is going on in this stage of the race? I think for Charles I think Charles needs to stay within five seconds because if um, That incident will be judged as master not giving him much space Then he might get the spot anyway, and we have a lapped car there, which is uh, Gold AJ the leader of the race Gold's getting past them. I wonder, in, in that situation, would, Ma would Master have to give the position back? In that situation? Uh, that I mean, if, 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 he, if, if he did it like on, in the race, you don't have to. Like, uh, if, if, he, if he did it on the race and then you, you just prove, I gave him the position, I didn't get any advantage, they go, Domingo is also involved into that, uh, then you are like, okay, it is what it is, Alexander Tsu is in the pit lane. It is what it is, uh, it happens, right? Diego Domingo will be blocking the entrance for... No, it's not blocking for Shabatron, but See, Master ben is pulling Hayes, away. Ben Hayes says it's just an incident. It's just an in, incident. Incident, yes. Uh, but the thing, the thing is, uh, with, uh, with it, if you just let the other car uh, pass and you just prove it, then there's no investigation necessary. But if it will be reported and, it will, and if it will be judged, then you will get... A penalty after the race the time penalty uh, at the same time we have Jack Olivier but he has made a mistake no he's in the pit lane because he was like he's two seconds pit, yeah. two seconds away of uh, Jerry kiss and he is now in the pit lane um, 
Vic, Remember, kids, you. don't be like me. Report your incidents. Don't be like me. Uh, Who doesn't report their incidents? I mean, no, don't, don't report incidents if they are just. Uh, if, if just, it's minor, if it's minor, if it's not that big of a deal, don't report it. But if it's a major thing, like someone I mean, punching uh, you off track, then yeah. This this is the thing. If you if you just do something stupid, like really really horrific, if you just see the worst region ever, just report it. Because if the person doesn't get uh, punished by that, if he doesn't get uh, penalized, there's a problem because uh, that person will probably do it again and again and again. But if you're just uh, gonna punish the dirty drivers or the drivers which are just uh, not patient enough. They will learn at some point, hopefully, or they will be just banned, and uh, that will stop them from ruining the races again. But if you just do something minor, uh, like some minor punt, and it, you just don't get anything by it in the race. If there is like a um, uh, slow guy who just happened to have this one incident in the whole race, he just punted you, but like he was like way in the back of the field, he just finished way beyond anyone else, and he is rather clean driver. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like um, report him just because he that uh, did something once. Maybe. Uh, if you feel like it costed you that's the race, yeah, uh, yeah. uh, etc., it is. And now we have Jack Oliver, just way too close for Maxine's quell to make him chilling in P3 because Maxine's now knows that Jack gonna overtake him. This is this is like the matter of. And he goes down the One inside corner. into yeah, the double gouge. Oh. Can he get the move done? A little bit of a, a little bit. Yeah, of it is already done. It is already done. He got it done. Yeah, he got it done. If you see Jack going for an overtake, you don't ask if he's going to make a move. You just you just you say. Ask he when. You yeah, ask you when. just ask when. when. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. Uh, Orita in the pit lane, Broom Broom Racing Team. Uh, they're Chalbertron chasing Master at this stage as Master is being slowed down by uh, what's the car there? It's Lipsis. Lipsis, the leader, leading yeah, by 13 slowed down by seconds. Lipsis, and then, on, and then ahead of them, uh, Friend is getting is slowing them down even further. Yeah, beyond the Prime in the pink car, but he's just made, yeah, he just went off the track, he just said. Boy, I'll let them just buy. Let go. I'll let them buy. Yep. Just let them go. Exactly. This is it. Okay, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, Charles can get the gap down. Hopefully, uh, let's see. Maxine, uh, Maxine is starting to drop away from Jack. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry, I, I, was I just didn't see anything. I just no, no, no. I was, I was just, I was just checking how the stream is performing. Uh, yeah. To, uh, to but check. yeah, Charles, Charles is still uh, keeping up within a second. Uh, hopefully, he'll get the gap down, like I said earlier. Uh, let's see. Poor, poor Pro DZ for getting the DNF. Poor yeah. Pro yeah this I, is... I noticed he didn't come back. Or maybe some kind of issue, technical issue that can't be fixed immediately. Uh, but let's see. Charles Bertrand got the gap down to seven ten. From the looks of it, tell us, just tell tell us is just doing his thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it it looked for a while like the car wasn't planted, but I think it's just, just quirky model or something like the the shadows was just playing a game yeah, with probably. me. And Shabatron is still chasing there, so we're gonna we're gonna stay He's with Shab. Shab gets He's a lot of coverage master. recently. He gets a lot of coverage. Uh, of his races because that's that's a thing like he starts from the back of the grid he always tries to do last to first have a decent pace and that that's a oh not not ABS, ABS. settings yeah ABS. because I, I, I I'm using the pad right now oh yeah yeah yes yes uh, you, you, you can see the interesting crazy... angles right here. Interesting yeah. angles. These are beautiful right here. And uh, Charles is getting within five tenths. I think we. I think soon enough he'll be uh, looking for a move. I mean, rem Master remember here. the Barcelona drone? It was like something like this. <laughs> oh yeah, the Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was insane. That was, insane. The, that the was stupid, that, actually. Like, like you. Like, that was stupid. Like you have those drones. We've actually like 
making the like maybe not above the track because if it drop on the car this is like stupid but if it would be like near the track and the drone would be allowing for the car to have much more interesting angle it, I'm very like with the open. drones you can you can really get like a sense of speed for with the drone you can really get the sense of speed of the cars maybe not not, not really the sense of speed but more like uh, you just feel you are close to the action, like right here, right? Yeah, you feel like you're right there. You know? And then we go for the... Also, three. I don't know how, but for some reason Diego Domingo is leading the GT3 with uh, lift four tenths pit behind Mixtrol. Pit stops probably, yeah. As Lipsy is right on Mixtrol. He's probably going to be looking for a move. Let's see, Mixture all in the black McLaren once again, and then Lipsy has in the BMW Z4 GT3. Looking real nice with the livery here. Uh, let's see, as they as they go toward Blanchimont, uh, still five, still five, six tenths holding on, but it seems like he's starting to drop back. It seems like uh, Mixture all is starting to pull away. Yeah, he might. Yeah. Might in this stage who knows what happened in this chicane the chicane you can make a lot of time there as long as you get a good exit as you can see ellipsis is probably gaining some time but uh maybe like let's see but i believe ellipsis was uh Lipsis was there yeah he's on the double stop while mixture and diego were not so i believe uh he needs to get the tires up to the temperature and just uh and just chill and just uh, wait for his moment to go as Jerry Keys going side by side with Jack Olivier already at this oh point my of the goodness. race. Jack is just going there. There's Bonnevain here. There's Bonnevain and he's letting them pass. Jack Oliver still gets uh, second place. All the, the, we're fighting for podium spots here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jerry Kiss Jerry, still hanging uh, on Jerry through Kiss Rouge and Radion down the Camel Straight. Jerry Kiss, do he, does he have the momentum? No, but he got the slipstream. He's looking down for a move down the inside, going toward Lecomte. And we'll see Tiny what happens here. The track. Oh, they collided! They, they collided! Oh, there's contact! Them. There's contact, but... Uh, there's contact. Jack, Jack Oliver keeps going, but Jer Jerry just bins it into the wall there. He's in the gravel. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that is so unfortunate. He that is so unlucky for, for uh, Jerry. Right there. Uh, yeah, luck Olivier getting another position. Uh, no, it's, it happens uh, if you just uh, do tough, close racing and you just try to maximize the gap there. It's now yeah. later gonna end up in a collision. This, like, if you have excellent drivers, no one wants to, no one wants to, uh, you know, like, uh, back off. And just step away you just need to uh, keep fighting on your like maximum yeah, level keep fighting keep pushing uh let's keep see fighting, yeah, Michael. The chat boys as, for Jerry. as we the see chat. Charles just going through the traffic right now and there's pingo queen in front of um in front of Charles Charles Charles. and there's master pingo queen is quite uh all, all over the place there but uh Charles managed to go there and shall it is Again, getting closer and closer to Master, just one second behind him. We are going to Brussels corner right now, and we are just getting to the double gauche corner. And Chalbertron is reducing it by one tenth here, one tenth there. It is nine tenths here, all uh, before the uh, yeah, right now it's double gauche, yeah. And then we are gonna go to the fine corner. Um, is Chalbertron extending the uh, reducing the gap, no, Master is extending actually the gap by two tenths again, but Shao Patron gonna get him, I feel like, uh, if he's gonna have a better exit, he's faster in the sec uh, uh, third sector, I feel, and Master needs to be holding the pressure, Shao Patron is dealing very well with the pressure, is Shao Patron getting closer and closer? He actually a is, bit, as a you can bit, see. Just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, Charles Bertrand is on the attack, so of course. And they Master don't have any car in front. Pressure. They don't have any car in front of him. It's like empty straight. So you just need to, yeah, you just break 100 there. Just 
keep it here. Just keep it clean, get a good exit out of the yeah, chicane. You shouldn't outbreak yourself. If you just outbreak yourself, this is the end for you. But don't, Sabatron, don't, don't pull a Carlos Sainz in Canada. Don't pull a Carlos Sainz in Canada. Yeah. I mean, a lot of drivers does it, but yeah, Carlos could be um, one of those. And Sabatron reduced it to eight times. How is it going to be for Lipsis, who is just right Lipsy behind Mixtrol? Lipsis is still Mixtrol. keeping up with Mixtrol right here in the BMW. BMW versus McLaren right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're still keeping up with each other going through uh, Campus Corner. And then uh, Paul... I don't... Uh, Paul Corner, I don't know. Uh, Cooper Paul Fred, I would say. Uh, Paul Fred. Uh, but anyways, down into Blanchimont. Uh, still keeping up. Still keeping up. Still maintaining the gap. Oh, sorry, but we need to change the view. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Master yeah. and but, Chalvatron, but... the LMP3 guys. Like, LMP2s yeah, they... are the most boring class in this race. They're just like... Yeah, uh, honestly, they're, they're just so spread apart. There's nothing to say about LMP2s. But right LMP3, now, because, we, because the we level... Some good action here. Within four tenths. Okay, yeah, this is more exciting here. Within four tenths. Oh, Charles Patron goes wide. Uh, yes, but just wait, just wait, just look how he gonna approach the Paul Cooper Fred corner. The funny, actually, as you can see, he's much faster here. He's like he likes this section, the sweeping asses, the uh, mid speed corners. Yeah, he's getting the gap down. Yeah. Looks like he is getting the gap down to like five tenths. Four just tenths. About. Four tenths. Yep, and you, you will see three tenths when they will go to the chicane. As long as, um, long as Carlos gets a good exit out of there, he'll be able to catch up to Master. <laughs> as they go through Blanchimont, the run down to the chicane. Find your breaking point. Break cleanly, don't outbreak yourself. Keep it clean through both apexes Master and get a good exit. Master going to the pit lane. Master pits! Master pits! Oh, I did not see that coming, but it is probably getting to the time where some people have to start pitting, you know? Oh, there goes uh, that. 30 Mixed minutes roll. to go, so this this is what you should do. Like, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to have a um, good run. Mixed roll the going end. down the inside in the double gosh, but he can't get the move done. A bit of oversteer there. A bit of correction. Well, hopefully, mixed roll will get close enough to get the move done um, as they go through the this uh, twisty technical section here. Uh, he's still, he's still keeping up. Four tenths. He's still, still looking good for mixed roll here. Um, let's see. Really isn't much going, much else going on on track besides this. Yep. Uh. But yeah, Lipsy has might be starting to pull, build the gap, but who knows? Maybe, maybe something will happen down the chicane. Uh, as they go through Blanchimont. Yeah, find your find your breaking point into the chicane. Keep it clean, keep it clean, get a good exit. And let's see. Uh, mixed roll. Uh, he lo maybe he lost some time there to Lipsias there. Um, Just maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe through the hairpin, maybe through uh, the hairpin, maybe Ricardo through the hairpin. Is off the track, Arda is off the track. Just, oh my God, oh. Arda, Arda, Arda! Oh, that, that's Arda. a good spin though. Ah, that's a good spin, Arda. Oh, uh, this yeah. going, going to right the pit the lane pit. that way. Yeah, but it, it is yeah. what it is. As Mixtrol is chasing oh, Lips, they are going Lipsia both off track. Yes, they are going oh, both he... off track, and then. Uh, they are switching passed. positions. Yes, Mixtrol is keeping the outside lane. Uh, Lipsis is probably going down the inside. Um, is he going for the dive bomb? No, he is not. And they have LMP car, uh, Talas there. LMP3 car. Let's hope Talas won't uh, stop us for seeing that fight because he is quite an impatient driver and he will be probably trying to sneak in. And as you can see, he's yeah, just getting he, 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 uh, Lipsis. And he's trying to look for some space to get past Mixtrol, but and Mixtrol does let him pass. And now we can now we can see if uh, Lipsias will keep up with Mixtrol going down into the into the double uh, like crap, if I, I, I like a corner name yeah double gosh du uh, yeah anyways yeah uh, if, if, double if, if, if oh I he was, goes wide but 
He still maintains it. He still maintains it. I mean, you, you have to go wide a little bit because uh, I think oh, yeah, there's okay. no AstroTurf there. AstroTurf in the previous track was spinning you, and then he's spinning. And he spins. Mixo is he's saving spins. it, oh, but he collided with oh, Nixus. Oh, big contact. Oh, and they both. Oh, oh he man, lost. He crazy. lost the control. The he, rega that. he regained the control, but Lipsy is then being behind him. Uh, he couldn't uh, avoid it, so they crashed. That's so yeah, unfortunate. For him to go, but so Diego they, Domingo, because of that, is extending his lead to 23 seconds, and we have 23 minutes to go. So Diego Domingo is probably safe. He will probably even have a free pit stop uh, because of that. Like if if they're gonna like drop down by another 10 seconds, he might even try to risk and then get a pit stop if he if he needs one. And the Talas is off the track. But I was going to say, if I were Talas at that point of the race. I would probably just, uh, yeah. Where he, where he is just stationary. He stops. He's just straight. On the straight starting up straight. Oh my god! But if I were Terras, oh uh, being gosh. like so far away compared to the others, I would probably uh, wait and let them battle because you are not fighting for anything. Like you can see, he's a P11, but he is actually. Let's see how it compares in his spot. I think it will be over one yeah. minute. He, tell two us laps, is currently it's last in LMP2. Standing. Yeah, but he's two laps to Roman Nash, which yeah, is P6. So if you are two laps to Roman Nash, there's no way you're gonna you're gonna unlap yourself twice in like the same conditions without the rain and other stuff, which is not quite possible in AC uh, in the moment. So without those tricky conditions, there's no way you can unlap yourself. So if you cannot unlap yourself. Why should you uh, intervene in the battles of the others? I'm not just like criticizing him uh, just for criticizing him, but you shouldn't do that. Like I wouldn't do that. And Shabatron is one up behind the Roman Nestor, uh, which shows that those LMP freeze are not as slow as you would think. Uh, yeah, but Charles Bertrand is leading in LMP3. Uh, gold is. Of course, far away. He's just long gone with the yeah, lead. Yeah, Jack is not going to, to catch him. There's no way. Yeah, uh, Jack unless... is not going to catch him. One minute 30 behind. Yeah, there's no way Jack is going to catch him. And let's see. Uh, who do we see? Uh, Diego Domingo win the GT3 on stream. Can we see that? Maybe don't show it. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, and the oh, Talos oh. and Lipsis has collided. Tell us. This is what I said before. Like, Talis is he's she's not paying much of an attention what is going on around him and this is this is something yeah. you shouldn't do because uh, like you have a battle for a podium position in GT3 so you're not fighting for anything why should you block why should you do that this is this is irresponsible and we have lipses oh, blocking Mitchell. the inside entrance oh, make sure just waiting oh, but no, no, I don't think he's gonna have a better yeah, exit. He, move, oh, did there, he? There wasn't a move there, but he does get the slipstream and he might go for a move down. Oh, but Lipsia does take the defensive line. They're alongside into the source. Uh, can he get the switch back done? Maybe? No. Not no. really, but he still has the slipstream and he does. He is getting the momentum down the street, uh, down towards- Trust me, Lipsia's gonna Radion. be in front of him after uh, Radio Rouge section. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Lipsy has, does get the momentum. No, he didn't, but he's, he's having that much speed on the camel straight. As you can see, yeah. it's just go it's jump. Just camel straight. That's just the nature of it, the slipstream and all that. Uh, uh, he got him. Yeah, he, he got him. And then yeah, he got him and down the inside here. And Telus is right behind him too. Yeah, but like not not to disrespect Telus or anything, but like honestly, if you're two laps down, just focus on your own race, man. Yeah, not to disrespect them or anything. You you like, want to overtake them, but like you can do it on the straight. I feel like yeah, uh, just, maybe yeah. you know like those cars are comparable on the straight, but you have like better opportunities. Like probably uh, you could go wider on uh, double uh, gauche, for example, or maybe uh, like this. Yeah, you just like take this, the momentum on Brussels and you just take them there. And uh, because LMP threes are actually faster in the corners, and then like then they are quite comparable to uh, GT threes on the straights with the streamline speed. So uh, what you want to do is probably uh, use 
either double gauge and maybe go like white and then just try to extend the line and just you know like you turn you turn better so we can just take them there or you just try to use the lasors for example uh, there are a couple of corners which you can do that and uh, if we move to doming uh not domingo but like lipsis and mixtrol you can see yeah. that they are still going there and they are still looking for any opportunity for making a move and uh, yeah, as they go honest, through Bunchima on the down, on the way down to the chicane over here, uh, still five tens between them. Uh, let's see. To be honest, see, I don't can know. Can they get a good exit out of there? I don't know from where from Mixtral space come. Uh, where Mixtral space come from? Because he... also, I think uh, I think Charles pitted like earlier because he's all the way down in like twelfth. Uh, he pitted. He must have pitted earlier. Yeah, he could do that. Uh, but anyways, uh, we should probably get back to Mixtrol because they're still pretty close. We will. Yeah, he has uh, one more stop than Mati. Yeah. Uh, but he he went for a lighter uh, pit, so it might be interesting. Master is still there, and yeah, Mix Mixtrol and Nipsis they will be just going for a while. Uh, yeah. But we we can we can use that opportunity because they are still fighting um, to cover yeah. what's what's going on. In the stage Gold of the AJ, race. just by far the best driver so far here. He's just long gone from everyone else. The fastest driver. I would I wouldn't yeah. say the best one because uh, everyone is uh, best at something, but he is uh, the most consistent and the most speedy uh, driver in this race. Uh, yes. And yes. Yeah. Much, yeah. yeah. The, 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 You're correct. Yeah. Like you can. You, like the best is like. De debatable and already is off the track uh yes he is but gold's aj is leading the race uh so this is this is the, uh, the short segment where i will try to cover what's going on so uh, gold's aj is leading the race there is jack olivier who did the split stream uh a split um oh there's some there's lipsis lipsis collided with mixtrol and they dropped uh oh my god this is another oh, collision poor with lipsis f in the chat for lipsis bro that means Mixtrol gets P2 for GT3. Uh, uh, right now, but we still have 17 minutes to go and it can uh, switch again. But uh, Jack Olivier. It's still anybody's this. race. It's still anybody's race. Yeah. Uh, there's still 16 minutes left, so. But Jack Olivier did a race with his dad, uh, the sp uh, driver's split race. Uh, Anto did the first stint, now Jack is driving. Then we have Jerry Case in the third position. We had also. Uh, was Gold's AJ? Yeah, Gold's AJ was leading the the stage, the, the first stage of the race, and he disconnected and he managed to uh, recover his pace there. So he should be by far even further if he didn't disconnect at mid race. Then we have uh, Alexander Tsu currently, by the strategy uh, decisions, leading a race. 16 minutes to go. There's Master in P2 and Josh Brooks in P3 in the River Racing car. Then we are going to have Diego Domingo. Diego Domingo, um, my delivery says 33, it should be 10. Uh, but he is in the P17 uh, overall classification and P. Oh, tell us, just don't do that. Just don't kill Diego. Uh, and he's oh, currently no, P1 Alice. in the class. He, he let him through. Okay, that's good. Mixtrol currently is uh, P2, P2 for GT3. but he had some incidents with Lipsis, so I don't know how they're gonna be judged. I feel like uh, for Lipsis, uh, Lipsis probably won't report them because he enjoys racing and uh, you don't always report drivers in the event. Like, you don't do that normally. Uh, because people are more chill, they, they see that the race is long, etc. And we have Bonnevain chasing them, so this is what is going on. Uh, the biggest loser right now probably is LH44, known as Prodizzi2. He disconnected while leading the race. I don't know what happened and we cannot um, confirm it yet. But Gold's AJ doing an amazing job right now, leading the race quite comfortably. And uh, well, Bonnevain is the closest driver for making a move without the strategic decisions, I think, in this moment. 40 minutes, 41 seconds to go. 
and the wind is getting stronger in this race uh, compared to quali i think it was five kilometers now it's seven kilometers per hour and the temperature increased the track temperature increased from 20 Five, I think to 28 it is a short change but it might slow the cars down I think the top temperature which the race will reach will be 29 uh, degrees and let's see the categories well on P2 from the eight drivers seven are racing let's say six are racing because tell us it's two laps behind then there is uh god's aj jack oliver somebody is in the pit lane is it aj yeah it's aj in the pit lane jerry AJ kiss in the pits. that's pretty much a free pit stop because he's so far ahead of everyone I mean, else he, he could do three more uh and he probably would be still uh in front of jack there is alexander too uh leading Quite comfortably, 15 seconds, and there is Master not quite comfortably in P2 as he has just Brooks four seconds behind. One mistake, one uh, miscalculation, and you can get there. Just Brooks is slowly just getting one tenth there, one tenth here. Yeah, we will see. Th this might be an interesting battle if uh, Josh Brooks can manage to uh, close the gap. Shabatron did a bad strategy, I think. SP5 right now, 25 seconds to Matthew Labeck, and we are having 13 minutes till the end of the race. So Charles is not going to get a podium, I feel like. Uh, I mean, P4, right, because Matty is doing two stops, so he is probably doing another one, I feel like. Um... Just a quick question, uh, who are the championship leaders in each category? Uh, we don't have categories. We have like um, if you finish P1, it is P1. But we didn't have a um, instance where, like, for for example, uh, we had three classes uh, in the AF uh, two uh, Daytona race, and they are all like P4s because they did the drivers swaps, etc but uh we didn't have a situation where like both drivers for example finished uh neck and neck on the same positions so uh Charles Bertrand is leading and nobody is uh, just getting to take his spot that's uh, basically it if he is uh, uh he is having 50 points and then Jack Olivier is 25 so Charles Bertrand gonna get a uh, couple of points like he needs to get points and he will get some points so uh okay, he will yeah, win anyway he will win anyway because if uh shall would dnf for example then jack would be equal on him on points right and then and then uh Boltash would win because he would have three points advantage over them uh, just give me a second i'll be back in 30 seconds so you can just uh go on and i'll be back soon okay well um and there really isn't nothing much going on i mean there's uh we got diego domingo over here uh possibly um possibly ben hayes i have no clue uh, i have no clue why they're not classed in the championship standings i would honestly put classed within the championship standings but anyways um that's just how they run it i guess but anyways we got diego domingo uh in the league in the lead for um, um uh, gt3 for the gt3 class um this might actually be the first time we see diego domingo win on stream uh hopefully i didn't just jinx it for him but um yeah he's pretty he has a pretty comfortable lead over mixed roll uh let's see uh again there really isn't not there really isn't much going on at the current moment i mean you got you got uh maddie just getting past diego domingo right here uh i do not have control over the camera that is um uh, Mosquito's job, so now uh, we have. I've now we have. Off. I'm back. So, what do we want to see? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. So, so if the standings stay the same, I get P1 in the championship. Uh, that's what chat. One of the first people in chat said. Um, uh, I think. I'm not sure. Wait, wait, wait. So, if the standings stay the same, I get P1. No, 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 no. If you will get P1 if Charles Bertrand will DNF. Because if he will finish where he is now, you lose, Alex. Like, if he will get any points, you lose. Because if he gets any any points, 
more than uh, more than uh, free. That's that's what I'm saying. He will get there, and he is currently uh, one, two, three, four, p5, and p5 in his position. Let me see. I'm uh, hoping I did not just curse Diego there. I'm hoping. Uh, wait a second. P5 in the position is worth 11 points so big l for you alex but uh 11 points is still more than you can get uh so yeah that's it i mean there really isn't much going on currently everyone's like decently yeah, because spread it's out so nine minutes for the end of the race this is not day of one where you just try to uh to extend your strategy until the end phase of the race as josh brooks is looking up and as you can see it's getting darker slowly but it's not uh, any terrible conditions uh, changing much although Fimster is involved into his personal battle with lapped wooden shoulder so uh the drivers from north american continent they are just meeting together here on the last source corner but no moves there as you I mean, can see with the like shoulders eight minutes left in the race there, there really isn't that much that can happen really in just uh, eight minutes. trust me it can happen a lot you can press the teleport button to the pit lane i accidentally oh gosh imagine if that happened it happened it happened it, it has happened before damn yeah it, it so the whole story is Pingo Queen was leading the race in AF1 and he knew that he had was involved into some sort of incident so he probably would get a penalty I believe it was a, the way he fought. So he was trying to use the push to pass on the last lap on the last straight just to extend as much time as he had. But he has a push to pass next to the uh, teleport uh, to Pete's uh, button. So he pressed the one, wrong button and he teleported on the last lap on the last straight. So he didn't win the race. He finished uh, P17 I think because of that. Oh so, my gosh. Yeah, that was that, that, is, that, that was that is so unfortunate. That, that, that was a big oh, that was a big L, but it happens and we are with Josh Brooks currently in P3 in the class just doing quite Quite okay job quite as well Martin Leipzig is in the pit lane as I said so Shalbatron is extending even uh, More as Matty, I think he messed up his uh, exit. So Shalbatron has managed to overtake him there huh. so Shalbatron is P4 uh, he's not getting any other position in this race without any other higher forces, which I mean a higher intervention, which I mean uh, DNF, uh, lag spike, or anything. So, yeah. uh, six Maybe minutes. He's building a pretty sizable gap to Maddie, so I think he, he got that position down on Six block. minutes, 30 seconds. Maddie just, go. goes, just goes ahead and cuts the corner, but. Uh... He doesn't care he just wants to get as close as possible but uh yeah. it it won't happen uh matty has fresher tires but i think he, he needs one lap to just get his comfy space and i don't think shall gonna let him i don't think shall gonna let him yeah i think i think that's at this point this is going to be charles position charles's position for the race diego, uh let's see diego domingo quite comfortably uh, 27 seconds in front of Mixtral. Just good. I'm hoping I didn't curse him. I'm ah! hoping I didn't curse him. But what? This is, I think at this point, he, he got the win. He got the win for GT3. Uh, class, uh, so. Yeah, but Jerry Kiss is uh, having... Jerry Kiss is off track. Wow. Well, I'm, the not, tires not so are struggling. Really the there, tires so. are struggling uh, quite a lot. And Jerry you can... This is toward the end of a lot of people's uh, stints. Uh, let's see. But yeah, you, you, you be... can see after the pit stop, Jack Oliver is 55 seconds away. Uh, imagine if Gold's AJ has another issue, like he just, uh, I don't know, he just disconnects or he just uh, gets stuck on the grass as Telles did, for example. Uh, imagine if that happened. That would give the Jack win. A Shabatron is again in the pit lane, so that wasn't a quite oh, smart bro. strategy. Uh, oh, but no, he will is... still get a of points, though. I feel. Yeah. Rick Brown gets points anyway. Uh, Bolt has to lose championship any percent. <laughs> any percent speedrun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but anyways. 
yeah, nothing else much happening here. Uh, this is going to be Diego Domingo, Domingo's uh, first win on stream. What NIF an achievement two. for him. NIF2. NIF2. Because, NIF2. Uh, uh, no, he got a few races streamed where he won. But uh, long in the past. Uh, so recently, like in from the mid-2021 20, until now, I don't think uh, his win was streamed. It is not the overall classification win, but the class classification win. It is still a win. Yeah, the class win, not the overall win, but the class win, which is still pretty good. Yeah, just wait a second. Uh, I will be back, and I'm back right oh, now. Oh, someone's off track. Someone's off track. Uh, uh, this is Vivos. Vivos. Uh, with uh, Impulse Racing livery. Yeah. The quite fa famous track. Sema, Ay Ayrton Sema, uh, racing <laughs> here. Yeah, it, it, it came out of this way, they were playing the Gartic Throne, and uh, he, um, by a mistake, he wrote Ayrton Sema instead of Senna, uh, so it made a whole oh, meme. Oh, that is, that is so funny. Yeah, so it made a whole oh, meme. Yeah. Uh, we have Shiny Waffles, seven seconds behind Charles Bertrand, so Bertrand managed to go in front of him, and as we go there, we will have probably one or two laps more to go with gold aj golds aj leading the race quite comfortably 55 seconds over jack oliver this is the double podium for the uh bumper car racing as g uh jerry kiss jerry kiss and a uh, golds aj they are both uh representing one team maxine's uh uh, Maxine Squall also and Daniel Ricciardo is going off the track as we speak uh, here, uh, like white, not really off the track. And we have Alexander Tsu leading out of nowhere. He started in the pit lane, he just started from the back of the uh, LMP3 class and he is leading the race by six seconds over the master. Does mean he is gonna win? You don't know. One mistake one stupidly placed car of the other class and you lose time this is, that was quite op opportunistic from master to aim where shiny waffles were uh the car which is lapped and Sh shiny waffles Josh should Brooks, three seconds behind master um yeah because like, like you said earlier one mistake and it's uh, and it's over one mistake one bad mistake and it's over um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that Josh Brooks is is pretty happy with the podium, you know, the class podium. I mean, Josh is always happy with a podium. Uh, he can, yeah. he will probably be like, "Come on, River is back, baby," or something. Uh, but River is back. Yeah, this, uh, this is also. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he'll carry that pace over to AF1 again like, uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'm just, like, hoping. I mean, we we can I'm be hoping. Josh's fanboys, but I mean, who uh, whoever gonna be fast. I just want to see him uh, winning the race. It's not like, uh, like I, I want to see every driver having their momentum at any stage of the race, uh, because uh, that's it, you know like as much as I like Jack winning every race, uh, it is like looking at Hamilton winning every race. You know like yeah, you just it gets want boring. not really let's say not boring, but let's say like in Hamilton's case it was. Skills plus car. Now you have uh, here. You have uh, mostly skills advantage if you have the same car. So Jack is just better than anyone else. But since the like very long domination periods happens, you just want to see. Uh, you just want to see a master is very close. Else. Alexander Tsu. It's uh, half of a second, and we are on the last oh. lap. Uh, I, Wait, I, did, Alex, did, did Alex make a did Alex make a mistake? Oh, uh, Master oh, is oh, making a mistake, but they are still going to make another lap, I think. Yeah, I think it's plus one lap, right? Timer plus one. Oh, lap. they managed. They managed to go before the yeah. The, the leader is on the last lap uh, now because of the yeah. It's counted of the leader, so they are on the last lap. Yeah. Master and Alexander it's, uh, on the last lap, and George Brooks four seconds behind. So. 
you don't know what will happen. You just don't know anything can you happen. You honestly don't know. Like, and then like they're within seven tenths of each other, six tenths. And like this is this is probably gonna be interesting here. Last lap battle here. Remember, Master was slower than Shaw, but only the third section. So it might be a case here. He's just aiming down the inside, but I don't think it's a good line. I don't think it's a good lane here. I uh, saw. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe Master yeah, can but, get some time. But maybe. Yeah, I will go Not more really, to the outside but... and just keep the momentum. Uh, like Let's the see, dive wasn't uh, possible. Golds maybe. officially wins the race. I uh, crossed the line. Yeah, Golds AJ won the race. He's just doing burnouts. He's doing burnouts right here. He's just doing donuts, celebrating. He, I'm sure he'll enjoy that win. Yeah. And he gets boffed. By Jake Beams. Eight tenths Anyways, away. Anyways, Master is still behind Alex toward the any toward the final stages of the lap. So Gold's AJ takes P1. Jack Oliver is P2. Jerry Kiss is also on podium. Maxine Quell, Alboita, Roman Nash. This is the order, and then Teles far behind and Prodizzi who DNF. This is the LMP2 order. And we will have the battle as master is four times away from alexander it's, uh, they are just going to the brown shimon corner he has a momentum to do it he's right there right behind him a better momentum there he's just oh, going oh, he's, he's, the he's going for he's him got momentum. he's gonna go past alex going down into the chicane side by side going right keep it clean keep it clean Mal he's master. still there looking at going oh, oh alexander is spinning. spinning he is spinning he's actually spinning that gives the that gives the that gives second place to Josh Brooks and the win. The class Master win. Master winning. Master. Josh Brooks on podium. P P two. Alexander it's, uh, Oh on my P3 goodness. P three in the pit Whoa. lane. Oh. oh, but he's in the pit lane. Is he going to uh, finish? Is he lose position yeah, he is. No, 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 no. He, he is exactly where he was. Diego Domingo takes the win in his class. P1 yeah. on stream, oh. Diego, my livery, my livery winning again, amazing. Mixtrol P2, great job, Mixtrol. That was something else. Your page Especially is that great. battle with Lipsy, Lips is there. That was crazy. P3. Bonavane P4. Oh, that uh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was such a good battle toward the toward the end of the lap. Good, like GG Master. Good job on getting some points for the team, uh, for me. Uh, I swear he carries me an AF1. But anyways, um, yeah, so uh, going, going through the, yeah, he, he needs to do another lap, I think. But he will yeah, finish. Just... But he will finish where he was. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, so that was that was unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh, he needs to go through the traffic to finish, and <laughs> people are blocking. He has to finish. Oh God. Oh, poor Alex, man. Just but, that one mistake at, but at the very end. He will, be, he, will end. be. he will be classified, though. He will be classified uh, because yeah. he finished uh, 99% uh, of the race. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but I, I still feel bad for him. You know, like the just simple mistake right at the end. I there. don't know it, if it's it was gonna like, hurt. If it was like if it will be looked up or not. But we are done. Gold's AJ, that's the, race. that's the winner. Jack Olivier, P2, Jerry Kiss, P3, Dan Master, Josh Brooks, Talis. Uh, no, Talis is not there. <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, Alex, uh, that's, uh, that, that's a joke. Or, uh, that's a, that's a joke. Master, Josh Brooks, and Alexander Tz is a. Uh, uh, P3, uh, P3 in uh, LMP3, and there's Diego Domingo, Mixtrol, and Ellipsis in the GT3s. So that's the order, that's the race, we are finished, we are done. I don't think we're gonna do interviews because there's quite a lot to go through and I'm just quite uh, tired and we spent already over, let me see, over, over three like hours, hours, three hours, ten minutes of the stream. Yeah. So we reached this barrier beyond uh, the human uh, capabilities. So uh, I, I hope mean, you enjoyed. I, I, the... I'm still, I'm still fine here. Yeah, like, but I, 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 I think it's, it's, it's a long race already. So I. Uh, yeah, it's the, it, the, the stream racing has been was long fun. enough already. The racing it, was fun. Fine. The racing was fun. Yeah. The layout works. 100%. The layout works. The classes were uh, fun. I, uh, I think even if LMP3s had some mod 
issues that was fun the racing was good uh the fight in the end of uh, lmp3 steam that was amazing and what, what can i say uh maybe we will see af1 streamed tomorrow i cannot promise it personally because i have some duties to to be done uh but still it is what it is uh if not then see you on monday for uh i think it will be 18 utc for the steward stream which will probably happen uh because we had af3 so ob and we will have af1 so obviously we'll have some incidents to be looked at and then uh we're gonna have one week break since we have no af3 and in two weeks af3 will be back as well as i think um uh, no, uh, in one week AF3 will be back, and then in two weeks there will be AF4 back. So stay, uh, stay tuned, that's all from me, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think uh, if it ha finished this way, Shalbatron should win the championship if it is a thing. Uh, that's so a quick question, uh, will AF... Um, I don't know, wait, yeah? will, mm, I wonder if any anybody would stream AF1 tomorrow. I, I mean, know. I mean, it, sure. it, it 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 depends. It depends. Uh, like, uh, I'm quite busy with my uh, own time, so I don't know if I would be able to do another stream in a row uh, since I spent three hours of my free time today. And also, yeah, uh, and and also, uh, it depends if we will get RC. If we will will not get RC, that's another issue because we need to have a, like active race yeah, control yeah we, we need we need to have race control yeah, yeah. and that takes priority over streaming so yeah so that's maybe it maybe it could be maybe it could be another case of mid ohio where it just doesn't get streamed uh, but anyways, yeah. so, so that's, that's it that's, that's it for us. so with that's me for us. yeah I, I gotta do the ending uh face uh, as we always do so uh with me there was uh frank quintero uh his uh debut so uh he will probably improve even better if you uh, don't mind doing more streams in the future. Uh, oh we'll, yeah, for we'll sure, see. for sure. I'd, I'd love to continue, uh, you know, doing streams. Okay, you know, okay, perfect. So uh, see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and uh, we are a set of friends, this uh, the sim racing community. So uh, enjoy your evening.